Hey guys. <laughs> hello everybody. Hello, hello. If you guys don't know this guy right here, this is the Philly Flipper. None other than <laughs> oh. <laughs> And if you guys star. don't know, this guy, which way do I go? This guy, I still can't remember, is, is blind. <laughs> now, now it's the blind leading the blind. We were talking about, <laughs> just before we, we popped on live, you guys, I was telling Paul, he's like, what's taking so long? And I'm like, because I moved everything I have. In the oh, crap. Now I can hear my echo. I have the. I guess I have the computer on where it's on in the background, so... <laughs> I'm going to get up in a minute and go shut that off because it's going to be like hearing me talk in another room. But uh, I'm in a different room. Glad you, there. you guys can't see. I got some shirts up and uh, and uh, we're just going to talk about shirts, you know, they're like I'm a, a small fish in this whole thing. I don't know if you know this, Paul, but like on Instagram, I've been watching for about well over like two, three years. There is. Lack of a better description. There is a matrix. When I say matrix, like on different levels and things. So, like, if you're not aware, on Instagram, I have, I would say, I've seen up to like almost half a dozen to twenty lives going on at once, all about t-shirts, only about t-shirts. It's that popping on Instagram. I'm telling you, people. Wow. That's just, that's just Instagram. That's just Instagram. Like, there's. There is so many that things that people don't know about T-shirts and like so. I thought you know I'd have you on today because we had we had a little discussion this morning. It was can I tell them the story? Of course. <laughs> so I'm, I'm getting up, like literally getting up, and like tell usually I'm how, early how much of an idiot I am. Go ahead. <laughs> it, it's like you know I'm getting up this morning and I'm like I get this and I'm like what is this? I'm like why is my phone? And it was from Instagram and I'm like. What does Paul call it? And I was like, <laughs> uh, you know, I was like, I, I, I am not dressed. Let me get out of bed. And so, you know, it's like, so I called him. I said, give me a minute, you know. And he's like, I need your expertise. And so, Paul, you tell him, what did you find here, dude? And uh, while you're telling him that, let me just real quick, I'm going to, I'm going to see if I can blank my, oh, stop camera thing. Okay. I'll be right back. Oh, we don't <laughs> want that one. What does that one say? <laughs> Oh my god, is that the guru? Was that the yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah my guru. Is that the <laughs> is that my uh what well it's one of them. I have like the, there's the t-shirt guru, there's this and that. Tell them what happened this morning. You went on a was it a yard sale run or whatever, you know, yes. sourcing. I'll be right back. Yeah. So pretty much uh, this morning I'm up with uh, Paul, the flipping sports guy. I don't know if he's in the chat or not, probably not in the chat. But um, there's a huge community yard sale. It was in King of Prussia, which is about 20 minutes away from me. And it was advertised as like 50 different houses doing different yard sales and stuff. And uh, to be honest, I'm going to be putting a video about this probably in a couple, couple of days. But most of the houses were duds. They, they all were not good. People were overpricing stuff. There was people selling used shoes for like 50 bucks and stuff like that. But there was this one house that had like tarps that had boxes full of T-shirts on them. So um, I looked to the first box, saw like a vintage Disney. I was like, okay. Looked through some other boxes. I seen some like vintage Harleys. I was like, okay. Uh, so as soon as I saw that, I was like, Louie, because <laughs> I didn't know what they were. They were, what are you going to charge me? I don't know what the prices were. So I was like, I want to call them before I check out to see what's the max I should be paying for this stuff. Because like I said, I have zero clue what I'm talking about when it comes to vintage tees. I don't go to the bins. I don't go to Google pretty much. So I, I don't know um, I'm here. what I'm doing. <laughs> are you, did you find glasses? Actually, I found some lighting and I'm trying to like subject myself to like seeing if this is going to work. This oh is going to be. I have a feeling this is like a crappy light. This is, that is the, not going to work. The, the oh, best crap. live stream of all time. You know what? I'm not going to even try this, bro. <laughs> this is this is terrible. It's not long enough. I'm not prepared. <laughs> this is terrible. I got this like old crappy lamp here that's like it's not long. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, it's going to put stack all over your screen. Yeah, that would have been bad. You know, it's one of those where the bulb just goes bleep, 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 bleep. Yep. So you told him you went and you found the stuff. Did you tell him you gave me a ring? And I gave you a ring. This guy didn't answer. So I, I went to cash out and I was like, if they want like five bucks or less for a shirt, I'm sure it's probably worth it because like I figure I can probably sell them for 20 if anyways. But I ended up getting 38 t-shirts and one hat. I knew and it. 
I thought and I heard you say right. Like I was like, dude, like. I mean, I, I was trying to tell somebody this story. And I'm like, I think he said 30, maybe he said 40, but I will say what, let me ask you this real quick. What, what, I mean, we're both resellers. So anybody rewatching this and anybody that's, you know, and I'm going to try to work on the hashtag to pull, you know, a variety of people that are interested in just, just the genre of shirts. Yeah. We're probably going to focus on like maybe one subject matter, like Harley or some concert shirts and stuff, but what made you into, I mean, I get it. You're a reseller, so you're instinctive, but like what made you think, yeah, I'm pretty safe with these. Like, yeah. Uh, I, uh, watching your, your auctions. <laughs> I, I see how, how, like he said, you know, get your fire suits ready every time you bring out the Harleys. So I was yeah. like, I was like, okay, there's a, there's a market for, so that's pretty much, I knew there was a market for Harleys. I've seen other auctions where like there was a market for Disney. So I knew, I know it's pretty safe with those two. I took a couple of chances on some NASCAR ones, so I think it doesn't work. Uh oh, what we got? No, no. What so about to show the up? reason <laughs> is um, now it's. I'm, I'm sorry, next time I have my lighting better, but it's not hard. It's not easy to see. But like I guess for those at home, your screen's gonna be bigger. I'm working without glasses, so I'm like this, going. And 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 Paul was like, "How are you gonna know if my shirts are good or not?" And I'm like, "All right, you know." Um, <laughs> so like you were saying, Disney always oh, a good one. This that is, is a fire one. This is a nice one. I found this one. I, I will admit, I found at the bins. Not everything. Paul, one time, he, he ticked me off. He was like, he was on Johnny's. He's like, yeah, Louis gets everything at the bin. I'm like, no, I don't. And that's the <laughs> truth. Everything. Is everything. I hunt stuff. Like, I go to estate sales. I'll, I'm gonna, and I got a T-shirt story to tell you today. It's like you're gonna go, what? You did what? So, and it's kind of like what I told you. I did at the bins. The reason this is fire is because it's vintage. It's Ooh. vintage. But the tag. This is not only. A vintage tag it's actually a vintage um what do you call it walt disney tag from and i'm pretty sure somebody said this is from the 90s but nonetheless this thing is they don't, i looked on here now the way to tell if something's vintage if you got something that's a crew neck or like what they call a sweatshirt you can't tell if it's single stitch or something like that so those are indications like you know is it single stitch can you tell by the tag the vintage tag but there is usually what I was asking Paul, like when you found his stuff, I said, did you find the provenance? And he's like, what are you talking about? Like, let me see if I can get yeah. it just right. Mm. Like coming up there it is. See right there, there's like a little, like a little date thing. Yeah. So on that, it's not clear and they hide it in code, but this is from 95. Uh-huh. It's hard to tell. So it says Disney 0495-A. So the 95 is like, this is, I, I already knew like it was mid nineties just by the tag and stuff. But yeah. back to what you were saying, like, yeah, dude, you got to just know like subject matter on top of different things. You have to know also the style of like, well, you know, it's like, you know, if it's only like 10, 20, 30 years ago, mm -hmm. you're going to remember things like as a kid, you know? Yeah. Like, I remember things that were as a kid that were actually from the fifties and sixties because they spilled into the late seventies. In eighties, because I was like a Star Wars kid, you know, and so I was really small back then. But I was like, you know, I remember kind of going, "Oh yeah," and all those things set in your mind. So we have like this. I think resellers can really use the resources if they trust their intuition, like you did today. I think you do. I think you're gonna you're gonna kill it home, I'm, and I'm excited. Want to just go ahead and show us some of the, your favorites? Well, I don't know what my favorites are. I just put them all in a pile. I figure no, out. Let, let's start, start with going. this one. Like you were on, you were on your channel today, and you were talking to Katie Reeds, and she's like, boom, boom, boom. She's like, you know, talking. He's like, look what I found, and he had this Harley, but it was a. There we go. It's this I, one right here. So, yep. is it is this good, guys? <laughs> Now let let's that, let no that's a good question. Let's define. It's like what is good. Like what is you know? How do you that's define so good? It's all subject. It's like art. It's Paul. You know, it's subject on taste and this and that. Now, inherent in the value, it has a lot to do with another thing. Is it? Is it from a vintage era? Now, are not all vintage is worth a lot, right? You know that for a fact. You you yes. found old and antiques. May not be worth I, I, a lot. A lot of like vintage Crofton barrels, maybe worth five dollars each. <laughs> but it, but it's subject to like it's like a it's like a it's like a piece of the pie. And in a minute, I want to say I want to stop and say hi to everybody because a lot of folks walked in and I wanted to. I mean, I'm, I greatly appreciate can, everybody. Can, can you get Luis on here so you can get, we can get somebody who can oh, see? <laughs> You're so mean. It's like, so, so back to what I was saying, like like a like a piece of pie, like a, it's subjected to many things. Like it's not going to be 
like popular and, and valuable. Like if, you know, like the trend right now is, and I hate to use that term, a lot of hipstery kids, but they're smart. They get it. Is that they're pulling back from the nostalgia. <coughs> like, you know, guys from the nineties, they want that Mickey mouse from the nineties. They want that, you know, Japan anime from the nineties or if there was, you know, but like a lot of like, I'm talking like, you know, pop culture stuff that you can't find anymore. Like, oh, yeah, you know, whether it's Teenage Ninja Mutant Turtles, this or that. But like, Mario, let's say, right? what's a solid logo? What's a solid um, brand? A solid brand is like, like what you found today. Harley yeah. Davidson, dude, will live the test of time like Walt Disney is a, is a brand, dude. So when you find brands, of course, you're going to have followers. So, you're going to have Would you consider like NASCAR that kind of brand too or no? Big time, and it's it, although it's subject to only what I don't know. NASCAR's been around longer, but I'm talking like when they started doing those fire shirts, like in the late '70s and '80s, they weren't like the ones from the '90s where it was like full on bring it up. They call that a just just total total graphic T-shirt. You know what I'm saying? And so, like, there are Harleys like that too. Real quick, I'm gonna say hi. Hey, um, go back from the beginning. Can you actually see it was on? Yeah, I, I can see a little bit. I, I, I can, hey, I'm not that blind, but I'm blind. Shopaholic Incorporated is like, I will be late to pick up my son from work, but we'll be right back. Oh, cool. Oh, okay, it's so awesome. you can if you can read it, you can definitely see. Okay, then we're yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, just, it's, just, it's, it's a little straining on my eyes, I would tell you. It's more of a reading thing. So You, you Nikki, have to be all scared Nikki when you can find the, the live button. Nikki, thanks. <laughs> Let me boot this guy out of here now. Uh, so what'd you say? Oh, so I'm here waiting. I, I'll put it up there if you want to read some of these. I'll, I'll let you do that one. Is that a Wu Tang symbol on her thing? I can't read that. No, it just it's 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 her logo. It's just a heart that says love snacks because she loves mm. snacks. Okay, look like the Wu Tang symbol. <laughs> Nikki might like Wu Tang. I don't know. <laughs> oh look, Ella, 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 Ella. <laughs> don't she'll get mad at us, man. We can't do that. And then we got Nikki. Did, next did you see what she did for, uh, for my birthday, Louis? Did you see what Ella what, did for my birthday? Ella, uh, what'd she say? Ella cooked the most delicious oxtail, right? Oh. And she posted on her Instagram stories like, "Hey, Paul, here's your here's your birthday meal, but too bad I can't ship it to you." And Dude. that's what she did. How disrespectful is that? <laughs> no, it's not disrespectful, but it is. It is a. It's a. It's salt in the wound, dude. That's salt in the wound. It looks so it's good, and, and she wrote like "Happy Birthday, Paul" on top of it. I was like, Ella. Mm. <laughs> so we got Nikki and Ella in here first, and this guy Philly Flipper. Who is this so, guy here? So, 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 so he's coming, guys. Be patient. <laughs> he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. And I saw a resale dojo. What's oh, up? What's up? Dojo. Yeah, we got you know people are coming and going. Rosilla's here. I'm still looking for the one of those make seven up seven yours up. t-shirts oh. in five X. I'll write it down. I'll I look for it. You know we 5X. can make a four X stretch. One of the big trends now. <laughs> Paul, one of the big trends right now is uh, people like if they find something they like, especially like collectors or even resellers too, like they know they have a large, but like or let's say a medium, they'll stretch that sucker just so it will resell. And that well, what they do is, and so in the t-shirt world, they don't sell by like it says extra large. It doesn't matter. You, there's so many different variations of extra larges. There's boxy, there's elongated ones, there's you know, there's some that are like in between large and extra large. And it's like you know, how do you know? Hey Cameron, how you doing? Hey guys, he says, we do resell dojo, saying hi to everybody. I want, so I want the vintage test. Tees. What do you say? Vintage tees. Well, not all, but I do dig them. <laughs> oh, I couldn't see that. I couldn't read. I thought he said test. Some of my eyes are blurring. Good Lord. Oh, look at that. Tino's in the house. What's Tino, up? Tino. Miss Taffy. Hey, Taffy. She's like, hello, hello, hello. Celestine Leon. Hello, Celestine. You're doing how you're doing. They're all, like, saying, all saying hi, saying hi. Everybody giving a greeting. Everybody giving a greeting. Oh, I got some cool shirts, you guys. Wait till I show and Mrs. Passports and, and pizza pies. I thought I said pizza apples. I'm telling you, I need my glasses, bro. <laughs> pizza apples. No, that is K. Look, there's my bro. There Luis, is. when you're ready, come on in, bro. He's like, hey, t shirt guru. <laughs> 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 that I can read. Oh, my God. So, um, so back to what we were saying, dude. Like, so yeah, it's just oh, RJ one. Yeah. I can never say R one J one list. Yeah, R one J one list. So stay here. So, we'll show that one, and I want to show something. In, yeah, in guys, check out the back. Is like my favorite. If you guys can see, 
So let me give you let me give you a, a, a t-shirt a, term. They call that the so here's the front of a shirt. Oh yeah, I tie that one too. Okay. But this is this is a vintage one. But this when you show the back, you want to you want to use terminology. This is called the back hit. The back so hit. You got the front, and then you got the back hit. They you know why they call it a back hit? Because it hits you with that logo. It's like pow. Oh. See and 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 uh, I will take pull back a little bit so we can see just in general because it's like wake. There you go. Yeah, something about Seminole County. This is Longwood, Florida. That's a nice one. I mean, I will say you have a rare piece. I mean, it's a, it's you a know, gator gator riding a bike, man. How often do you see that, bro? That's like reference to Florida and this and that. You know, yeah. even if you don't like Florida, where are you gonna find? I mean, I'm not saying. Trust me, there are others out there, but they may be rare. And I, I will say, I don't see Harley Davidson as a tie dye that often. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So, now, so you um, really gotta go. let me take my hat off. I can see my well, like uh, I looked again all over the place for that time marker, I could not find it. So, all You're I have about, is uh, you mean the, 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 the date, the, the date, yeah. I call that so, provenance. Provenance will tell you the date or where it's who, or so, if so all it's I have uh, like, is different. this to go by. So, doesn't always have it. Like, let me show you this one, doesn't either. So, this is like when I found uh, Dude, not too long ago when I yeah. found it. All I remember was. You can't see it, but right here, if I come in close, it says "Do the Do." Yeah, you know, if you guys remember that, that's a reference to a soda drink called Mountain Dew. Yes. But do you know they don't use that logo anymore? I mean, they don't use that slogan anymore. So I yeah. knew immediately. I looked up in Wikipedia when was that slogan? You know, just oh. just as, just to confirm the provenance that this is an old piece. So, but my lighting sucks so bad. But dude, it's about as bright as that. I'm not kidding you. It's like <laughs> so, this so, one. Let me show you. I can step back a little bit. This chair so i can give you guys a little bit and that's a that's a, that's a big boy thing you know no, that, that's cool yeah that's like this very is, like 90s this is very you remember in the 90s when like tie-dye was like making a big comeback from the 80s but it was it was more I, about like this this is, this is long this is a long extra large we were talking about different sizes so there's so many things to consider when you're yeah. looking at shirts let alone vintage the extra large of the 80s Will definitely not be the same extra large of like two thousand and even yeah. late nineties. I mean, a because it's shrunk, b because the the way they manufactured, you know, clothing. Like on this one, let me get my coffee out so I don't stain it. But let's see if we can give you guys a better closer look. See, so you can see the clothes. But look at this. Can you see anything about that? That that's a single stitch. Here it is. Can you see the stitching on that, or do I yeah. need to turn? If you uh, look, I feel like here. mine is easier to see. Mine's actually white. So, is your single yeah. stitch, by the way, on that yeah. one? That's it. Freak, yeah, bro. That's, if that's a single stitch right there, you yeah. better hold yeah. on to that. That that right there tells me that's probably no later than like 96, 95. Not that they stopped, but they did. They definitely start pretty much most manufacturers. Once they started shipping them overseas and stuff, and also, you know, had a lot to do with quality. Um, uh, what's the term like in the corporations? They would do quality assessment and stuff, quality yeah. control. Quality they control, stopped yeah. doing, yeah, because single stitches would just wear out more, and the mm -hmm. machines got more complex and stuff. So they were like, yeah, we we can afford it because you know the the, the Kelly hop on in, man. He says he says I want in on this action. Kelly saying that you better jump in the room, bro. Hey, jump in. Oh, bro, I sent. You, did I send you the link? If not, I'll send it to you. Just check, tell me if you don't have it. Come in. I want to see what you got, bro. So let, let me explain. This is these are things you really want to keep in mind. It doesn't matter if it's vintage or not, Paul, or anybody listening or watching this. Is that quality control, like and 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 where things are made, like vintage would have been like late '80s would have been up to us. After about when it started going late '80s into the '90s, us lost a lot of contracts, so they started shipping stuff overseas. So like hats, especially those nice trucker caps. Uh, were made in Taiwan, sometimes Vietnam. Those are those are the hats you want to keep or shirts. So like you'll look at your shirt tag and if it says USA, nine times out of ten, it's probably, you know, you're gonna be banking on it like you know, or eight times USA. out of 10, pretty, USA. pretty pretty would it what's that? So it's made in USA. So. Yeah. So you got you definitely have a vintage one. And when I say vintage, the technical definition of vintage is uh, you I'm not saying something you don't know. I know I'm preaching yeah. the choir. But it's got to be 20 years or more. So anything from 2001, 2001 pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so in here, I have some NASCAR that's 2003. 
for should, oh. I just, should I just wait a couple of years and then it becomes vintage, right? Pretty much, isn't that how it works? Uh, there's a term for that, but I, I wouldn't go there. I would just say, just, just, list just, the just I wouldn't even mention vintage. If you do, people, I will say this, I get so aggravated. Let me ask you this. I know you've run across this, but when I go, I'm not going to talk about eBay, any platform. I've been done, I, I, I'm a search hound for like t-shirts and there's certain code words I use, certain keywords, and there's certain ways that that way I can find them. Not just on eBay, but like on Facebook or wherever I'm looking. And people write vintage all the time. And it's like, it's 2011. It's not vintage. You yeah. know, it's like, come on, you know, whatever. It's like, you know, anyway. So that's a whole different yeah, story. Vintage is 20 years and like what? Antique is 100 or 50? What's antique? I don't even know. Exactly 100 years. I guess 100. Okay. There you yeah. go. But you know, I, I will say vintage gets so thrown around and like, ooh, is it single stitch? It doesn't matter if it's single stitch. I have so many. I want me to give you a couple of examples of single stitches that I have. Yeah. Like, I'll just bring the next random one up. And we'll yeah, bring the next one. I'm going to show you. But look at this. This is actually a single stitch from, from the 80s. And I can tell you why. Like I said, if my lighting didn't suck so bad. But if you go down here, let me, let me just find that one part. I'm going to focus on that. I mean, when I'm close enough, you guys can read it. Yeah, it says 87. Good. So, dude, I mean, and tell me by the design. But, but tell me that design isn't just like, is that so 80s or what? And it's oh, like yeah. The colors and stuff. And it's like, dude, but look at this. Back hit. You know, this is what they want. Back Most hit. single stitches that are from the 80s don't have back hits. This is like one of those like OP kind of shirts. I don't even know if it's OP, but it's like, remember o OP, Ocean Pacific? Yeah. They were like a brand for a while. They, they were like the big thing. Like if you didn't wear OP in your vans and stuff. You weren't cool and hip, you know what I mean? Like it was a skater surfer thing. It was a vibe at the time. Hey, Luis, let me know if you need the pa uh, the thing. So this is the next one. This is a long sleeve. Oh, sweet. So you got to – that's what I have. I have a few of those. So is this a biker shirt or is it a Harley? I can't this is a, see. This is a biker bar. Nice. Or, or from it's from bike Biketoberfest 97. And what's not – can I tell so you something what's nice about that? But go ahead and show that. That right there? Fucking killer. It's so killer, bro. Yeah, yeah because here. you don't see, and you do it technically this is way vintage because you got the provenance on the back. What's the provenance? You got your date. Yes, it's 97. <laughs> yeah. And what's okay. nice is, can I tell you sometimes if you can, sometimes the, it's the not a parent. Some, like, crap on it too. That's pretty cool. That's a, yeah, yeah. I like that. They call that like a side hit uh, or just like, you know, arm, arm, yeah. arm graphics, you know, yeah. arm graphics are typical on most motorbike guys, you know, because most motorbike guys want long sleeves sometimes. And so like when it's cold, they got that, but they want to like show off. So when you're driving, what do you got? It's, it's, it's the same thing that the kids are doing today. They want that bling. They want to show their, they want to show their fanciness. So like if you're a biker, yeah. you're going to be like, yeah. Oh, uh, look at that. And if you're, if you're, you know what a roadhog is. So if you're a roadhog driving next to another roadhog and you're seeing nothing but this, right? Yeah. He's going to be like this. He's going to give you the piece or like, hey, he'll give a code. Like he'll say, meet you there at two. So you are know? our long sleeve more desirable than short sleeve or it doesn't it's, matter? That's, a, that's, a, that's subject to taste and opinion. And, and I would say well, it's pretty what about much. If they have like a button. Can I front. just say something? It doesn't matter. I will say this is just my opinion, Paul. I'm a small fish in the in the t-shirt world. It doesn't matter. You know why? You're gonna find people that only they only wear long sleeves. So what are you gonna tell the guy that goes, I don't want a long sleeve? You know, doesn't matter. You're gonna always have a customer. Yeah. But can I say something? It's subject more because that back hit, dude, those yeah. colors are so perfect. Yeah, that was okay. nice. Yeah, that's just like there's so many things that are wrong in a good way with that. Like, <laughs> it's, it's so, dude. It's like it's beautiful because like I love that they're like, yeah, this is '97. They're proud. This is a yeah. big event. These are things. Th these are. Can I just play something? These are trophies, bro. These are trophies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. These are trophies, but these are trophies if you're a biker and stuff like that. You know. So, so Nikki, you, Nikki you goes. Uh, Mom jeans are back. Yeah, they are. So you ahead. say I, I'm two for two so far. Or no. Dude, that's dude. Okay. Right now, I, I guarantee you, this guy, this guy. This, how old was this lady? Was she like in her forties? She was, she was in her like thirties. But this was this was her grandfather that they used okay. to do this. Dude. So yeah. Can I just say, and you and you had the first, you had the first grab of these because I heard you pass it on to. Well, well, he was there with me, so so we, we were going back and forth. But he grabbed like ten, and he just walked another, went to another yard sale, and I was like. 
I'm gonna stay here. A little, I'm gonna stay here a little more and keep digging. So well, tell him I said this. I know he's listening. You did good, dude. If you grab how so, many? Almost forty. Yeah. So, so I told him like, hey, these are fire. You should go back and grab some more. So he told me he went back and grabbed. So that was nice. Me, you, so, that was yeah. nice that you did that because he he wrote me back and he said, yeah, I went back and got some more. I'm like, dude, you better show me some of these things. So go ahead. <laughs> that one right there. It's can I tell you, you now? Let me let me ask you. Let me let me explain something on that one. And they just talk reseller to reseller now. T-shirts aside, but. But reseller to reseller about T-shirts, you got about five things that are hot with that. You know why? You got people that do want things with provenance because they they say, I only collect shirts that are from the 90s. Okay? Boom. You got that. I only collect shirts that are long sleeve, but biker long sleeves. Okay? okay. I only collect – I want to collect biker stuff but or anything that has to do with Halloween. Wasn't that a Halloween reference on there? Yes. It's a – Look who's here. Hey, Luis. What's up, Welcome. fellas? Somebody who can see. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna need you, bro. Oh, that's it. We're, let me let me let me kick him out. Hold on. <laughs> oh, what the? Seriously, you're gonna kick him out right when I come in? <laughs> come on, Louis. What's up, fellas? Here, let's do like we're we're giving him an interview. Hey, Paul. Oh. Welcome to our T-shirt talk. Well, well, <laughs> welcome to Mindful Saturday Merchants. <laughs> yeah, Mindful hey, Saturday man. T-shirt. <laughs> Whatever. This, this is our mindfulness about t-shirts and stuff. So yeah, we're talking about like all ends of the spectrum. Like I don't know if you've been listening or heard some of what we're talking. Oh, yeah, Eddie man, Reeds is I, in I, the I, house. I was, all, I was seeing all the cool shirts that Paul was bringing out. I'm like, man, they're doing a show and tell. I want to play too. Sheesh. So Come on, bro. One. You're always welcome. You know that. Katie Reeds. Hey, hey, hey. We got passports and pizza pies. So this, a, this I, I will say this oh, much though. Oh, Louis. What oh. is? I mean, Louise. What is that? This is crazy. Let me, let me hold on. I gotta put you on big screen, bro. Yeah, you ready? Go Here we up. go. Solo layout. Look at what he got. Oh, I needed to do that to you, Paul. Yo, read that out loud. Four. That's not vintage. That's not vintage. Doesn't matter. <laughs> but it's 2004. It's yep. dude. Can I tell you something? It That's is. another thing. Is just because it's vintage doesn't mean it's worth more than something from 2015. Oh, you know? that is dope. That, I'm in closer, that, bro. That, that back hit, right? Yeah, like, getting the terminology right. Oh, check that out, dude! And it's got like a little mini. What was this one you told me about? This did you? It's summer tour, so it's kind of like band tour, right? Who is this, bro? Grateful Dead, man. Grateful Dead. And it's on a oh, is this the room. That's the Ooh. one you got from Gary, right? Yep. Yeah, room. dude. I'm so freaking <laughs> so, sick. So, so is through the loom like desirable? Is is that a good tag to look for? Like I said, I have no clue. What I'm talking um, about. Let me give you a secret. It doesn't matter what tag it is, but I'll t can I tell you what's hot right now? Yeah. You know what's hot with the Grateful Dead stuff? So what Luis has is a legitimate one. Now, yeah. nope. what what I will talk, let's talk about licensing a little bit. I'm going to take you off, bro. Nope. And um, What's big and important, that's a good question. I'm glad you asked that, Paul. Is Fruit of the Loom good? Yeah, Fruit of the Loom is always good. Toltex is like an indication from the 90s. I think it's called Toltec, yep. Toltec or something. There, um, if you get if you get Hanes, it's nice to see a hefty when it says hefty yeah, Hanes. It, it, and that, you uh, there's, there's the a tie dyes are Hanes. Yeah. The tie, so the just Hanes. study if you guys this find other guys. Cotton Deluxe. Yeah, yeah. So what I would start doing is when you find out the provenance of something and you're sure, like like that motorbike says ninety seven. Yeah. Write down the tag. Take a picture. Start keeping like a little notebook of this stuff because. Yep. I know a guy that he's taken pictures of tags and he's actually dated every single tag. He's on Instagram and he does it like for different brands, whether it's it's Hanes or whether it's this brand or whether it's Fruit of the Loom or whether it's, you know, whatever brand. But yeah, dude, it's crazy. Uh, Hold on one second. Let me show you something. Uh oh, okay. where do you go? Where do you go, Callie? Here we go. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you running off? Lu Lu what Luis had was called 100% legitimate. And, and can I tell you right now? Remember? Okay. So Luis, I was telling Paul when he came in that yeah. I've been watching t shirt rats for like, excuse the term, but I've been watching hounds or what do you want to call them? Yep. T shirt hounds that are like for just on Instagram for the last two or three years. And yep. right now, it is like I've been telling Luis this, Paul, is that it is crazy. It's like a matrix. Like if you're not connected with those people, you wouldn't know that there's 20 lives going on at once. All yep. t-shirts. All t-shirts. No yeah. Yep. And 
there's like one guy I'm watching. He just and he started this thing in Florida, and it just came to Houston, and I skipped it last week. And I kind of wish I went. But I didn't want to go for like ego. I wanted to go to go look at the museum of T-shirts. It was in Houston, Texas, and it was called Brutal. Like there's this there's this there's this kind of in term. I don't ask me why, but it's like it's in a lot of music and stuff like that. You'll hear it, yep. but they call this Brutal, and it's like this guy. He's called 1980 something like that. I'll, I'll send you the link later. If you watch him he, tonight, he just sold a shirt and it went well over a thousand dollars. I've seen awesome. shirts go for twenty five hundred dollars, but it's a it's sort of a racket in some ways. You know, you got collectors, you got people that really are serious about this, you got people that are just competing with each other. It's a crazy, crazy world out there, man. Let me tell you, it's just crazy. Let me show you something. So, as opposed to what you showed me. And let's just talk about tags for a second, real quick. Yep. Another tag. This. Oh, another yeah, Grateful Dead. Another Grateful Dead shirt. Yep. Yep. You can tell right? that it's, right away. It's a legitimate yeah. Grateful Dead shirt, but it's not worth a lot. Yep. You know why? 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 Why not? For several reasons. Because so when it comes to tags. You always would love to, I'm not saying you have to, you should have a tag, otherwise it's licensed merchandise. Oh, yep. okay. Something you can get like at, at, a, at a basic store. Yep. Right? So I wanted to bring it, but this is fire as shit. If you can't afford, now shirts like this, if this was an original one, it normally would have like on the back hit, it would say this concert, San Francisco or whatever the Ooh. city was, or. It, and and they would be like ridiculous logos up here. They yep. now not to say that this uh, what do you call it? The licensed merchandising for Grateful Dead has mm -hmm. done this stuff. But what you want to look for? Are you listening? You want to yes. look for a tag, and it's got to have liquid blue. Not there yep. is some liquid blue like this. This is not yeah. liquid blue. This is just licensed merchandise from the from yep. the band. Yep. Yeah. But if you it see also one that has says the liquid blue, it. <laughs> go ahead and get it. It's probably worth something, but not worth a lot. Not worth yeah. more than 40 50 depending on the design. But if it says liquid blue on that, grab it. But if you find a tag that says liquid blue, you better not only grab it, but get in your car and go drive fast as you can. Because Liqu that's, worth, that's worth a lot. Liquid blue or liquid blue? Liquid blue is, is, is they have the right. Somehow they've locked this contract in for years. I'm taking myself out. Yeah. Is they've locked themselves in this contract with being able to lock. It's a basically the big thing about t shirts. And the big scam about it is they lock in merchandising. So, uh -huh. for example, this one I'm wearing right now, no, you really can't no. see it, but on the back head of it, I'll show you the back head right here. Yep. On yep. the bottom of it, it has it has licensed by something something brothers. I can't yeah. remember their name. And um, have you heard of the resale brothers that are on? Yes. Uh, so one of them works for the guy that licenses this, they're, and oh, they're like yeah. a. There are, and they're all and this company has like been this, these two guys that have like contracts with Willie Nelson have been licensing his merchandise since the 70s. I found probably about a hundred of these shirts right here, and I sold most of them. And this was a concert that never happened. It was last year when the pandemic started. I went in and I made a, a, a one-time deal with the manager, and I somehow was able to grab them all. I put them in my cart and I said, I want to pay this much. Would you do that? Otherwise, it's going to sit in your store and you're going to long tail it. He's like, yeah, let's do it. So wow. I like, well, yeah, I went in there. You got to go and do wholesale, bro. Like, go in there and kill it. Yep. So, Luis, had, Luis has an original one. You want to find this. Show me what you got next, Paul. I'm going to put you on solo layout, bro. So, again, just another, like, a biker bar one. So, I'm going to say this much. The desirable ones, you always want, like, a, an image or a graphic in the front. But I think you would have been dumb if you didn't grab these because even though they're not worth as much – these are special because they have pockets. They do yeah. have most of these are a lot of I notice they're long sleeve. See, that sounds like that was that lady's grandfather's choice. He liked long yes. sleeve. And that's that's yeah. pretty badass because uh, back hit. Oh, oh yeah, that is nice. coming close, bro. He oh, that is crazy. Look what that yeah, says. Back hit's nice on that shirt. Yeah, Dude, not over, just nice. That's, that's a nice pickup, man. Guess what? It's still considered vintage this year but that is just got in here yeah. <laughs> i think you got like several things going for this 
it this is going to go sell just as good as a Harley, just about maybe a little less than a Harley. But you have something that is got a provenance of a bar. It's got the yeah. year. It's got okay. this wicked event, like this. It's mm -hmm. called Biker Oktoberfest or something. Yeah, Biketoberfest. Yeah. Oh yeah, that dude. Can I tell you? There's people that just collect that alone. Little yep. uh, Harley guys will go, yeah. My 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 uh, brother went to that. I want to get that shirt, you know, or whatever, because like their brother died, or they want to buy it for him. Yeah. So, but I'll tell you what. There are people that want. You got another one you want to show real quick, and I'm gonna throw it oh, on the yeah, I'll, I'll bring another one. Yeah, sure. just go ahead and show like a couple real quick, and then. But yeah, I think uh, you you sure. can I ask you something? Did you grab them because the back hits? Or yeah, the, 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 the one that just looked the coolest to me, I just picked up. <laughs> You're smart, dude. That's good. You always go I, with your I, gut I, and eye. Yeah. So, yeah. Hey, this one's a little, hey, a little contra take. controversial, so I don't know if I should show this one or not. <laughs> okay. Are we hey, allowed to have uh, the Confederate don't, flag here? <laughs> don't forget to rent some people, Louie. Hold on one second. Do I got to do that from – oh, I can't do that from StreamYard, huh? Yeah. Nope. You got to log into your YouTube and do it from there. Hold you on one second. Pay, pay needs one, and Miss Taffy needs one, and I think – that's it. I'm not sure. No, might be a couple. Protest of is happening. Where's Miss Taffy? Wait, right. uh Oh, time is up. Oh, they're they're not. You're not paying attention to the chat. They're about to riot, Louis. Yeah, they're about yes, to go good. crazy up in here. They're gonna have like a biker. They're gonna have a. Oh, okay, good. Moderate. Where did Miss Taffy go? Where she? She's go? in here somewhere. She, but she left you, man. Make sure you Ms. get a. Uh, if you're listening, Miss Taffy. Oh, and Flipper Hustler, they're gonna give you one too. You guys share uh, your links and stuff. We're talking so, about so, shirts so, here. That uh, was right a now, Marina tag. This one's an anvil tag. I don't know. I like anvil, uh, but uh, they're, they're not necessarily the best. I like them. This is a short sleeve, not a bar one. Okay. So What's this say? Cabbage patch. patch? Cabbage patch. Okay. Yeah. And then you know why biker shirts with? Yeah. Do you know why biker shirts with pockets are important? Because they were most of them were cigarette smokers and stuff. So they were yeah, built for the cigarettes and their lighters and their matches. So so this mm -hmm. one's not vintage, right? Because 2003. But no, but that's dude. Can I just say something? Look at that back hit. That I would almost say is, if not better than some of those others, dude. You know, like this is killer. Like even just an average Harley Davidson that just only has like the logo. This, this guys will, because you know why you're identifying. Remember we talked about not just the Providence, but you're talking about what style bike that is. Oh, my dad had a chopper like that. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Look at the sick graphics. I mean, dude, I can't. I don't have my glasses, and I can tell you that is just that, that's a that's a clean hit in the back. That's awesome, bro, bro. Bro, when I rewatch this, and I will rewatch this, dude, I'm gonna like, <laughs> I'm gonna get my old man glasses. You did good, Paul, on those shirts, man. That's hey, that's flipping good. hustlers in the house. Hey, guys. <laughs> that was a good buy, man. Gravity that's, goods that's is here. Dante. Give back to, give back to Luis. <laughs> Let me go back up to the beginning. Right? Or, uh, if you guys, somebody, oh, there's Miss Taffy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrench her just in case she comes back. Right, she right. said, she said she's mad. She's never coming back. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll show another one. This one is a. Uh, Boot Hill, Boot Hill. Salute. 2007. So tell Luis a little bit about like this morning. Like, oh, freaking Abe. There you go. Can I just say something? I don't know if you've ever watched one of auctions with Luis's thing when I was there. When I sold anything with a, <clears throat> a figure in it, <laughs> you know, a beautiful figure like that. Does that help? <laughs> it, wouldn't you say that's desirable? It's more desirable. Would you, uh, I think, would I think you, it's would right. you say, Luis? It's more desirable. <laughs> so. No, but I mean, okay. I'm not trying to be sexist here, but on on a on a on a logistic, like as a reseller, to reseller, don't you think what sells sex? You know, yep. whether it's male or female. You know, that's why that's why I grabbed it. <laughs> All right, everybody. If there's anybody missing um, a wrench, most of you guys are in there. If you have any questions about shirt stuff, just pass them on. Yeah. All right, it's time to take this this this. Uh, so this, this is 2007, but it's Oops. still good though, right? Dude, 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 yeah. dude. It's got a great graphic. Don't worry about it. You're gonna okay. Ooh, you get ten dollars less. Trust me, there's somebody may pay you seventy for that and only give you forty five for a vintage because several factors. You know, some of it you also you gotta remember subject to condition, subject to not just because it's vintage. Vintage doesn't mean it's always worth more. It's yeah. subject to the, the back hits. The back hits and the front hits. So like, but because you got a little pocket and stuff like that, some guys are like, "Yeah, dude, you put those long sleeves up. Come, yep. probably about July, even though it's hot. They know October and November is coming, and everybody in the East Coast and the up yep. north, they're gonna be wanting those, bro." Yep. All right, Cali, it's your turn. Oh, I'm up. <laughs> All right, put me up. <laughs> 
So tell us a little bit what's going on, Louise. Did you find these today? Uh, or what's yeah, this, this, I'm going to show you what I found today. I found this Eddie Van Halen one. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Is that kind of like, oh, man, that's nice. Yeah. yeah, but you know what's nice about that? If, if either you you're a rocker. Boom. Yeah, those yeah, are awesome. Okay. I, I can see that, yeah. 25 cents into this shirt. Oh, nice. But you know what, Luis? Luis, well, I heard his merchandise you can only get at the concerts. That's what I understood. Yeah, but that's official. And then I don't yeah, so like I'm at a dollar twenty eight for mine per item. That's that's still good though. That's that's, that's, what what I'm that's at. still good. Then I I know some uh people in the chat were asking about Disney shirts and all that, but look I found this one too. Nice. Ooh, oh yeah, especially Tinkerbell. Bell. Look at that color. It's got the you know what it's nice about that? Can I just say something? Is that from Florida? Yep. You know, you know what? What is it referencing? You notice yep, that that teal blue? Yep, fifth anniversary. Yep. It's got that dolphins color. You know, like the yep. dolphins, doesn't it? Yep. Oh yeah. Now that pink, shirt. that pink pops out on that green, bro. That's good. The, 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 like teal. Yeah. Yep. And it's got a little side thing on Disney. So everybody lo who that loves Disney, they like their. Yep. Remember we were talking about Louis when you came in, like branding, yep. branding, branding. Hey, yeah, Folsom Fines, welcome. Yeah, Folsom Fines is uh, is Eric, by the way. That's Nikki Lowsnack's husband. In case you guys are wondering, Folsom Fine is N Nikki Lowsnack's husband. husband. Okay, is he a yeah. content creator? Uh, I'm not sure if he is yet or not, but he probably cool. will be in the future. Oh, he's, a, he's an awesome guy. Yeah, welcome, welcome. Here's oh, you bet, one. bro. Anytime. Ooh, you guys Animal drop Kingdom. your links, yo. Nice. That is cool. Hey, Luis, I got an Animal Kingdom one too today. Look. I'll, sh I'll show that one next. Is it on a Disney tag? Disneyland, yep. yep. Get a match and burn it. <laughs> why? <laughs> I'm just messing with them. Hey, let well, me show you this one real quick, Louis, you before you take me down. <laughs> this, is the one take you down? You, this is the one I was telling you about, Louis. Oh, oh I like that. Tacos. Yeah, I like that one too. And this is from Korea, though. Look, look at this dude. He was telling me about this. Is this look from this. Korea, Paul? Oh, snap. So I bet you five dollars. This is a uh remember we were talking about branding? I guarantee yeah. you there's there is one in California, but this is probably like their location in South I Korea. actually I actually looked it up and uh actually these are not out here they're actually out in singapore and the philippines and in so they're like asian so it's mid it's it's south pacific wow that's yep. crazy so they they're not that. here in california at all there gotta be one in cali bro no i didn't see one in california you would uh, think but that's awesome dude and it's funny that yeah. they stole the vato thing you know yeah i know that's the thing <laughs> hey, i found this one too oh that's sweet oh. dude 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 yeah. oh Th my that's God. the okay. front of it this is the front head on there. Let me show you. Yeah, that. That's, a, that's an insane. Front okay, head. you gotta promise me you're not selling that. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta give me a first dibs on that thing. Oh yeah, I like that one. She's a she's a female boxer, bro. Jeez, man, so Nikki, how be how far behind are you in the chat, Nikki? Nikki's talking about something I said like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Nikki, put you know, just, just remind her, Paul, that she's got to go on live. You know. Yeah, but look at look at the design work on it, Louis. Look at the yeah, size. That's, that's on the dope of it. looking, man. Oh, dude, I can tell. That's Azteca. Yep. It's a, so that's pre-Columbian like drawings, Paul. Like that's yep. from like the Aztec yep. nation. Mm -hmm. That's yep. beautiful, dude. You know, and that's a, that's a lot of Mex Mexicano pride in it and stuff, and yep. it's beautiful because she's from Mex she's from Mexico, but or she's a Mexican American. I mean, yeah, right. Yeah. She's got Mexican blood. All right, and enough of him. Come on, it's my turn. Get All off right, the screen. That's it. Wait Get a minute. Her. Neither of you punk asses. I'm going next. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Hey, I, I could have sworn it was Paul's turn. <laughs> Wait, what, what was that saying? We were going to say, eat shit. I <laughs> uh, know, right? Hold on. Uh, wait, okay. Wait, 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 where do you want me to guys to show you something? Let me show you. Speaking of boxing, do you want me to show them that one that I had of boxing? Yeah, show Let's me the boxing one. All right. Let me go get it real quick. Now, I, that's the one thing I didn't oh, pull. Look, Cal, he's not even ready, and he wants to go next. Did, did you see that? Hey, wait, yeah, hey, he hey, he's also. not Paul even ready, go. and he wants hey. to go next. Just for that, I'm shutting it down. That's it. <laughs> you should have just let Paul go next, Louie. Look at this. Wow, well, I gotta go this way. Damn, my this lighting really does suck in here, bro. I gotta. Look, it looks like, like a church convention or something. Yeah, is that a church shirt? Legend. Oh, that's George okay. Foreman right there. Yeah, that's George Foreman. And, and look, look at that's, this. That's his son, right? Speaking of fe female fighters. 
Okay. Oh, so it's, it? it's, it's, it's like the, like the parents and their kids kind of thing, yeah. right? Yeah. But also, yeah. I think that didn't they didn't those two do a fight against each other, the the guy and the girl, but they had to go to like Haiti or something like that. It says something oh. about Haiti here. It's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is like this is a weird one. It was like yeah, but nonetheless, it is the parents and stuff. Like it's crazy, dude. Yeah, I got man. This lighting sucks. And let me see if I can get that thing. I'm taking myself down here. But I want to tell you something too. Is like real quick when you guys are out, like. Yeah, do the standard. Look for like, like Paul did today, and like what what Luis is doing. But like, when you go to like, I'll, I'm gonna give you my tips. Whether it's Goodwill or Salvation Army or thrift store, I found this. This, if you guys don't know who Mogwai is, just listen. If you like anything about rock music or just you like music, very ambient. I found this one, and I got two other styles that go with this, and I'll so, I'll find so, them in so between. When you what is Mogwai? So long story short, this is a shirt you can only get at the concert. But look okay. at the intricate designing oh, and stuff. Yeah, that is like three D. Yeah, it's cool. It's like, but Mogwai. So like, it'd be like looking at this, and it says Pearl Jam or Metallica or whatever. But this one yeah. doesn't have a back hit, which normally they would put like where they were from. They were just selling simple merchandise, and I found probably about fifty of those. Actually, I probably got sixty or seventy-five of these. Wow. But variations, like three, and most of them are that design and stuff. So when you're out. Go and then like hit the store when they give like fifty percent off or whatever. Yeah. Hold on one second. I almost removed myself from stream. Who's going next? Me. Paul's turn. Oh, let me right. kick him out. Actually, Paul gets to go now. Then I'll go, and then he goes to go again. I right, so. Hey, I heard I, that. I, I brought him my uh, Animal Kingdom. Oh, By the way, I like your your Philly shirt. Okay. That's awesome. Did you just oh, pick this one. up today with the yeah. thing? That's yeah, this was part of it too. Yeah. That's an awesome I, see, that's, I would say you did good one because, oh, dude, that's a, I think that might be a 90s. Yeah, that's a 90s tag. Bro, is it, let me ask you, is it a long sleeve or a short sleeve? It's a short sleeve. Is it single? Dingle? No, it's double. It's okay because you know why? Even in the mid-90s or the 90s, Walt Disney was one of the companies that they they paid up for their, their quality. Their I just like how like the, the, like the like the grass is like you can like pick at it. Know, you Actually, you, you know, and this could be two thousands, but I will say that that I will be honest that that design of that elephant is just kind yeah. of, but no, no, it no is big here, and it's unfortunately, big. but it's okay. It's a, no, it's a but what you got going for this is simplicity. Is that you got at least I'm not gonna say five things, but three things is animals, Disney, yeah. and you got a nice graphic design. Whether the design is actually kind of shitty or not, but people uh, like you know, oh, that's just that's cool. You know, another Harley next. So oh, this is actually a Harley, bro. Does matter. Yeah, but what is the guy. what is the ghost yep. image behind? What is the ghost image, bro? What is the ghost image behind? What's the size? Is that a motor? Is it a bike? What is that? Yeah, it's an engine. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's the engine. Is it a double head block. carburetor? Yeah. Yep. And then, That's... and then the back here, it looks like some kind of like Harley dealership in Kentucky. Those are cool because you. you know, can I tell you something? I have a guy that collects. Uh, Harley that I know, and he only collects the ones that indicate where he's been. He doesn't want all that uh -huh. fanciness. He, I mean, it can have a girl, and it can have all that fanciness, but he said it has to be from every state he he goes, drives it's his bike. A, it's in. a single stitch. I guess that's good. Dude, that's probably 90, uh, say 95, 96. Halu, Haluback tag, whatever that is. <laughs> okay, do me a favor. This should at the bottom, bottom of one of those graphics, usually in the back hit, Look and see if there's a date. It's usually tiny, and it's at the very bottom of the graphic. You see anything? Ooh, I see red. 92. Yeah, that's a 92. Dude, 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 dude. Dude, that's, that's that right there. That I would I would start at a hundo on that. Really? At least. But yeah. do your research first. Do your research. That could yeah. actually very be much. It can maybe only be worth 70, 80. But don't go low because that's 1992, bro. Yeah, I would do 100 too. Yeah. Cameron says 100 for that too. Damn. Okay. Because it's all text in the front, oh. and you got that little that little tiny logo. Oh, sugar, right there. That's almost a full one, dude. Yeah. Is that all? Is that the is that a full? Line. Is that a full? Is that a full graphic shirt? Pretty yeah, much. Looks like it's a full hit. Look at look yeah. at the sleeves. It goes onto the sleeves too. That's that's perfect, bro. Yeah. Yep. So this is that's a classic one. design. That's what I I say classic. Yeah. It's kind of like that James Dean, you know, parking his bike kind of attitude. Yeah. Dude, that's an old tag. I that's think an it's old tag, old. yeah. Can I just say something? Be careful you don't have anything from the 80s. The 80s, 
You can get up to 200 out of them. And then it's the back. Yeah, that's an awesome shirt. Uh, I think you got one from the 80s, bro. Yeah, you know look, at, look at the design. Look at the guy riding the bike, too. They don't usually do the phone numbers anymore like that. Yeah, bro. they don't. Yep. Go look for, a phone, uh, look for a date on it, bro. On the back as well? Actually, look on the tag. It might be on the tag this time. I don't know. Yeah, There's two one. tags. It's a little weird. So is, it, stuff. is the white tag faded under it? Uh, not really. You can still kind of see okay. it. So that's probably early 90s. Uh, that could be. It depends. I, I need to see a photograph of that later, but that's so killer, bro. This is not bleach. Okay, look at this one. Gravity Good says, that's fire. I'd ask 150 on that one. You talking about that last one you had? Yep. Definitely uh, check it. No, it's 96. I found the thing. 96? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Right. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, so I was right. It's like it's ninety cents. So okay, yeah, but, it's but it could have been. It could right. be. Now, well, I will say you no. Know, they they did. They, oh, this wait a minute. This is this, the one. That, let me give you another tip. I found out about shirts. They will sometimes print hundreds to thousands of the shirts with that back logo, or mm -hmm. vice versa. They'll take a new shirt and they'll use their old logo from that from that specific location. So what most of the time is. The locations will buy, uh, mm -hmm. let's say about 500 shirts and the, and the, of different sizes. That is, and then they get a screen printer that they've hired for years, and he'll do that same. That's why it's plain white in the back. So it's basically okay. for the dealer. It's for the dealership. So I used to have a few of those from like in Texas, and different dealerships will. I have a, a shirt. I'll show you when I when I get a chance. The front hit, <laughs> the front hit says like it'll say like 2003, and in the back it'll say 2017 or 2010, so, because so the, the you know the designs are different times they printed it. This one's kind of like your like last band. I never heard of them. The band's called Hog Wild, right? Yeah. Well, look how cool this is. It's a Ukrainian American string band. You yeah, happen to find awful. this today? This was today. This is this is part of what's it found. Oh, you, is awful. it your size, bro? Um. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's my size. That's how you I need to keep that. You need to keep that for you. But that's, that... Look how cool that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh <is>. yeah. <laughs> Can I say something? That is just special. All the good special, like in a good way and a bad way. Yeah, it's so crazy. I'm saying, like, I don't care. If this shirt is worth like a grand or something. I'm keeping this for myself. It's just too short. Yeah. yeah. No, I was gonna say you just you gotta remember every time you buy like a little 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 like gold mine of things like this or like, not gold mine but like you do a little panning of gold in the river yeah. dude keep one thing for you it's your collection yeah. you know what i mean but yeah. treat it nice when you wash those <laughs> wash them inside out oh good call wash them wash them on cold water not hot <laughs> if you want to you work on a damn ukrainian shirt i would <laughs> You know, have you shown the Disney ones yet? Uh, camera, I showed the one Disney one I had. I have a Disney hat still, camera, but I don't know what it is. I, I, I did four, I think that's enough for me for now. Hold on one second, I'm trying to. Oh, I almost banned Luis from the studio. Uh oh, we don't want that to happen. What the <laughs> heck is going on? Exit solo layout. Let's do this. Luis is going to solo layout. What'd you right. find, bro? All right, hold on, let me fix this. Remember, we were just talking about Kaepernick the other day? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, don't get me started, bro. I got uh -oh. one too. Go you, got, you got a Kaepernick. Oh, that's nice. Well, I was showing Luis. I have a, a little kids for like about like a toddler. I got a an actual one from uh, NFL. That's nice, yeah, dude. I found this one today, and it's new with tags. That's well, that's good. Yep. Oh, it's new. Yep, new with tags is pretty good. Woo! Yeah. What year is that? Like It's an extra large too, and that's the yeah, the Nike the swoosh, the, yep. the yeah. stitching. So yeah, it's yes. the other one that I found today. Then I found this one, Louis. This is the one I was telling you about, Louis. I don't know. I don't know exactly who this is. Maybe you guys do. Her name is Lindsay Sterling. Sterling, I think. Sounds familiar. Kinda. She like a ballerina. Is that what she is? Yeah, but that's her. This is uh, apparently her concert shirt. Oh. I'm not focused. I don't know why it's not focusing. There you go. Yeah, I, don't know. I gotta do some research on this one, but yeah, it's part of the quarter shirt I got today. Oh, well, this is the one I was telling you about, Louis. I'm coming. Marco Antonio Solis. 
Oh, dude. Yeah. Dude, that is sweet, dude. What year is that? 2014? Uh, I don't know. It doesn't say. It doesn't have nothing in the back. It's just okay, like so it's not like it's listing all this. It's just, it's just a, it's an artist shirt. Yeah. Yeah. So let cool. me explain something. Like, I, I, there's like. Here's another one. They say artist, whether it's a musical artist or performance or whatever. There's artist shirts, then there's concert shirts, and then there's yes. just like so, band so, shirts. Luis, they're saying that she's a ballerina at the place of violin at the same time. Oh, okay. That is very impressive. Yeah. Ballerina and awesome. plays the violin. Oh yeah. yes, um, I had a friend that he was like nerding out on her, and she is she's pretty special. He made me watch her videos. Now I'm, I know who you're, you're talking about. Yeah. Do you have anything else you want to show, bro? Yeah, I got another one here. What is that? These are crazy. So yeah, oh, dude, it, it's, it's crazy, man. Oh, this one too. Well, that's, that's perfect. Yeah, any I'll tell you what that that screams. Three hits on a on a on a, on a platform. You got Tim Burton. Yeah. You got Walt Disney collectors. Yeah. You got uh, anybody that's into horror or Halloween kind of stuff. Yep. It doesn't matter. Like there's like people that will collect you know basic merchandising stuff. But if you got the stuff from, the, did that movie come out like in the '90s? Right. No, that was um, two thousand something. Night yeah. Before no. Christmas. Yeah. Did, no, did it really? I thought it came out late nineties, bro. And then this is the the USC Trojans uh, one. This is a six X. Oh wow, I was way wrong. I've never yeah. seen a six X. Ninety three, Lou. You're right. Thank you, sir. Yeah, this like one's on, fact uh, check on right Russell. Ooh. Russell. Vintage Russell. Yep. Hey, Jen. Got any t-shirts cool. to show? Let us know. Yeah, they have the Russell on the yeah. on the sleeve too. So, so how much do those go for, Luis? Uh well, the, the, you, are you asking Luis or me? Yeah, Luis, the guy who show. <laughs> well, Luis can tell you from a sports a six perspective. Yeah, it's a six that's a huge. The yeah, but from a Luis shirt? will tell you from a sports perspective, that's worth pretty good money. Yeah, yeah especially the size of it. So there's not really that many big sizes. So a big size like that yeah. would be desirable because there's always going to be that that fan or that person that's that's been wanting it. And they're going to see it and they'll pay up for it. Ah, look, look what <laughs> Nikki says. <laughs> Nikki, I'm a 90s kid. <laughs> well, you, you were born in the 90s, but you were raised in the 2000s. <laughs> she's calling you a freaking brat, bro. I'm All sorry, right. Nikki. <laughs> I apologize. By the way, hi, Susanna. So Susanna's in the chat. How you doing, Okay, Susanna? we got Susanna. We got yeah. Jen came in here. Thank you Marrakech. for coming, Susanna. Marrakesh yeah. is here? That's Sadiq. Hello, yeah. Hey, bro. Marrakech. Hello, everyone. Oh, what's this? Look at this one. What was that? I'm wondering what what flipping hustler. Which one was that, bro? Oh, Let's know what you were talking. About. I think he's bidding on somebody's shirt. <laughs> by somebody's shirt, obviously. Oh, tonight all shirts are preem, so they're like they're like twenty seven dollars shipping. So. <laughs> all right, all right, Luis, I'm pulling you down there. All right. Hold on one second. I'm gonna go. I want to go real quick. Yeah. Let me go show you a couple yeah. things. I'll oh, be right crap. back, uh, Louis. Okay. Uh, he's, about to grab some more, he's about to grab some more fire. You know, just go real quick. Going. I want to show you something. So I, I told Luis about this. I paid up for it. So if you guys don't know where to source stuff, go to your Goodwills. Go to your thrift stores. If you got an outlet, that's a hard work. I do that. I can spend seven, eight hours and, and wear my, my body out. But if you can learn to do online arbitrage, go to this place. It's called um, Uptown Cheapskates. They're one place I don't like, but they're all over like major cities. There's one San Antonio, Dallas. I don't know. Do they have those up where you're at, bro? Up to I States? haven't seen them, but they might. I'm about to Google map it right now. Google map Uptown it. Uptown Cheapskate. Uptown Cheapskates. They're a chain, but I don't know if they're just in our state or in a couple states. But long story short, they, they got into the uh, not vintage, but used clothing wear. And look at this. I found this. And this is, this is a repop, but... Here's the thing on this. This is now, Wu-Tang Clan. Uh, it's, it's how do you know it's a repop? Can you, can you explain that to me? Okay. Uh, well, I, that's kind of a generic term I use. Repop, like it's reproduced in the yeah, word. Yeah, I, I know. I know what I know what it means, but like, how do you? How can you tell it's a repop? Well, for one, is it? It is and it isn't. But because one, it's just like it's just a generic thing. But here's the thing: I'm rolling the dice, meaning I can tell because of just this tag. This tag is usually not a major like. Concert thing, but I, if I'm wrong, somebody correct me. 
But this tag here okay. is a more you. modern one. Okay. And Wu-Tang came from the 90s. If it was, it would have that nice big, you know, like Hanes beefy. This is like pretty cool. But I went ahead and got this because it's just, it's not really indicative of anything special. But look, it's just mentioning them in general. Like protect your neck. I like that. <laughs> it's not about an album or anything. It's yeah, just Wu-Tang. But it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's signifying yeah. like, look at the whole band, dude. Like Old Dirty Bastard, yeah. RZA, Jizza. You got Method Man in there. I mean, you know, half these guys are gone stuff. But I want to say I paid up for this because I know, like, if I were to bring this in a pop up or something like that, anybody that's a crazy fan, this 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 particular image, I know I haven't seen it that much. So yeah. really, it's about you can buy repops, but if it's an image that doesn't come up that often, don't 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 thumb your nose at it. Like, yeah, think about it because this to me. Is that a is that a clean graphic or what? Oh yeah, for sure. It, it, it's Although a fool, it right? Back, you said. If it were a concert shirt, more likely to have a back hit, and it may have like where the provenance is. So let me show you something like that Mogwai. Those are certain things. So this these are just by the way. This weekend I spent probably like two hundred dollars on shirts. This is cool. I went ahead Ooh. and got this. I paid up, but it, this is the front hit. This is a motorcycle rally. Yeah. Oh, sorry, let me go in close. So this is a motorcycle rally. Check yeah, this out. Am I getting it too close or what? No, that's perfect. Yeah, you can see it. And this there. is the front, but it's very small. See how it's kind of small for being in front yeah, of you? But look yeah. at this back hit, dude. Yeah, I think it's fire. That thing, and this is just a. This is like a like you said. So when you said, "Oh, Louis, is it good that I got the the motorcycle shirts with the bike?" Yeah, dude, all the time because these things. <laughs> Yeah, it, I remember I told you I got bike bars. You thought actually I was getting like some bars from from like a bike or something. Well, when you said I got Harley bars, and I like you know, I'm like what do you mean like the bars from a? No, because I was gonna say of course anything Harley motorcycle bike. But this is just simple because you know anything with you know different yeah, very. That's cool. It's, it's, is that like, it's like, almost like a it's a three D. Three D. Yeah, I was about to say yeah, it looks like three D. Yeah. That's that 3D. And you know fun. what I I will say this much: if you find Harleys and they call them three D Harleys, especially from the eighties. Woo! You got bank, bro. You got okay. bank. Let me just real quick. I'm gonna go through these real quick. I just wanted to show you this. This was sick, just a design. Oh, but look at this. But th it's not that the design's great on it. There's all. This is like a full body one, right? Right. Yeah. Check this out. Watch this company. If you now, uh, you know Johnny. What? Remember he told you about that day he went on my my live with Luis. Yeah. If you find this company. Affliction, you better grab yeah. it. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. Affliction. This is the okay. that's the company that one shirt he bought and it was worth about forty five to about sixty dollars, depending on. And you probably could have asked for more if just because it sold for like forty five dollars doesn't mean it wasn't worth eighty because somebody may have got a deal. And if that was like one of the only shirts, but look, they they make their shirts look like they're distressed. Yeah. Oh, also that's a, that's by design. Okay. It's just a design, bro. And look at this yeah. crazy. Look at the design, dude. Like it's just like and, a hard that's, that's on the sleeves and everything, right? That goes throughout look the at whole. This. It yeah. goes all the way down. Look at the look at this. It's like it's fake. Yeah. It's not. It's like it's more like marbling than it is yeah. um, tie dye. In this no, this that's that's picture, cool. dude, I paid probably you know four dollars four dollars for this, and I found it. I grabbed it. I went. Whoosh, whoosh. Oh, and that day, all clothing was fifty percent off, so I grabbed them. Oh, so oh, I paid two dollars nice. for that shirt. This is a basic Mickey, but what's unique about this Mickey is it's got the sketches, like it's yeah. sketches. Mm -hmm. But look at this. Do you know what that is right there? That's embroidery. Oh. So what happens is you got this like, oh, cool. This is like, it's like it's a drawing, but it pops because it's embroidered versus a print. So it's embroidery, print, Walt Disney. Well, the elephant I show was also embroidered. So. That's that okay? Don't forget to mention that. That's that's really okay. <laughs> that's a good one. So stuff like this, I bought crazy. Eat, just a simple eat the rich, yeah. You know, stuff like that is so. It's called I call this punk. You know, this is a punk aesthetic. And and the nice thing about this, is it's got a tag on the back. So I got these for like whether I paid five or two, whatever. This I want to show you is because it has that kind of like aesthetic, like you were telling me. You know, real big yeah. and look at this big boy. It's a bold, bold print, you know, coming in there. Yeah. What does it say? You'll get the horns. <laughs> You'll get the horns. I like that. Yeah. Read the first part. Let me show you this. Oh, can you read it or not? There it is. Mess with, mess with star. 
They get the, like horns. the Lone Star. Yeah. Yeah, which is the representative of Texas. So, but this thing is so big, but unfortunately has no back hit. But you know why I got this? Three uh, X. So anything, dude, start buying big, big, big boy stuff because that stuff can sell. And I already got private clients that email me going, "Do you got any more? Do you got any more?" Oh. So let me take myself down. I'm going to show you for a little bit. So move from. Right. Oh, Luis had to take off. It looks like. Yeah, he says to be right back. He said. So, yeah, I, I think you want to grab more merch. <laughs> All right, so I'll show you some NASCAR well, ones. The kids too, so. So, this there's this is just the front hit. There's no back hit on this one, but I figure like you said, it has a bunch of different collectors, right? So like NASCAR. Dude, that is so. Far. Is, is this actually NASCAR or what? Is it just a, a, a car shirt? Yeah, well, yeah, that is NASCAR. The, yeah, it's Sterling Marlin. So that's the driver. Probably Coors Light. People probably would want it too, right? Because it's a Coors Light car. Yeah. Dude, don't tell me this is single stitch. Uh, no, it's double. It's okay. It doesn't matter. That dude, right now, NASCAR is on fire. If you had a full body print NASCAR, crazy, crazy, like those three D looking ones. Is there a back hit on that? No. It's okay. That's probably about a two thousand, late nineties, two thousand. Yeah. More like late two thousands. This is a new of tags, Daytona five hundred. Same lady you bought all these biker shirts. Yep. Mm -hmm. Crazy. So her dad bought some stuff. If it's from her, you know, her grandfather, you know, he could have got him like in the early two thousands. Did this he pass a, away? Yeah, yeah, Daytona is a it's a race, so this says two thousand eight on it. Dude, I know so, the Daytona dude. Man, we got it, we got the it's racing not, here. It's not old, but I figured new of tag is probably definitely. No, over. no, I think you did good. You know why? It's got a front and a back hit. So it's yeah. and it's not bad looking. It's not bad. Then they got there, you gotta remember there's a bunch of you got there's a bunch of gearheads, dude. And that and Cameron even just said it's like if it's got that NASCAR tag, it's even killer. Oh, that's uh, so that, that one, one I would have thought a, twice, but that's okay. Winner's circle tag, and then the, the other one has a Haynes tag. So this one has got because also it's new with tags, but I figure it probably wasn't that good, but uh so it's okay because you know yeah. you what you do is you want to put in the gambling. You yeah. may have, but unfortunately it's not Las Vegas, but you'll mention Las Vegas in there. Because yeah. anytime you go to Reno, you know it's on the way to Lake Tahoe, which is the next stop, and then after Lake Tahoe is is um, Las Vegas. A lot. So this you know, is the controversial one, right? It says Iron Gate Saloon, North and South, okay. and you, you see the Confederate flag on it. Right? Yep, 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 yep. But, but look, there's people look, that will buy that crap. Look at know? the back hair on that. Oh, crazy dude! So what is much, it? North? It says North, North and South meet to party. So it's pretty much. <laughs> it, oh, up. Iron Gates is a famous bar too, right? Yeah. So it has like like the generals from the north and south on there. Yeah, that's that's pretty. Is that a single stitch too? No, it's a double. But you know what's you know what's unique about all these? It doesn't like I said, it doesn't matter if it's double stitch or single stitch. It just helps sometimes if you got an older one because it just yeah. kind of adds the provenance, proving that it's an older shirt. But my point is, is the graphics on these, Paul? Are yeah. just so killer that this is what's going to sell them. You're, you're another, selling it based on the graphics. Another one what's with the pocket. It says Boot Hill Saloon. Okay. And then another one. You know, it's sell. got that nice popping orange. Yeah. There we go again. Is that a different lady? Yep, different lady. I don't think they have waist that small, bro. It, it's 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 new though. It says 2015, but I figure. Okay. That's still so, that's still like it, it's new, relatively new. It's old and the relatively new. Because it's five yeah. years ago, six yeah. years ago. Now. now, I don't know if I should have picked this one up because you got to tell me how to get this uh, color off. Like, hey, Global think, Voodoo's in the house. I don't know if you can tell that. Like, It's really like standing on the top. Okay, we'll, I can we'll tell you. Color. We'll talk about it later, but there's this thing, you guys. Make sure you got to get the right ratio of OxyClean with about a cup of Arm & Hammy baking soda and soak it for about two days. Yeah, it'll be That's fine. That's it? Yeah. Well, it depends. Sometimes if you check it, you're going to check it and you're going to change the water out like after probably like a half, you know, like a half a day. You want to let it soak with hot water at first. Wow. But you got to mix that, that Oxy, make sure it's Oxy clean and make sure it's not the bleach Oxy clean, especially if you've got a lot of color. The white one, it'll lift most of that. It's probably because it's been sitting in storage for so long. Or does it look like a lot of sweat? Uh, uh, it looks like it's like, just like, I don't know. Like, can, you, can you tell the, the discoloration on it? 
Mm, yes and no, no. Yeah. It's hard to tell because sometimes it's, I, I don't even know if it's even worth fixing though. Because I like, have, I, a, but I would, I would, you know what? I wouldn't worry about it. I just, I would go for it. You want to clean it and you want to sell this stuff. D you know that's right? all. It's, I don't know. If this is collectible. Like it says the monorail. Oh, monorail. Oh yeah, yeah. Stuff like that. You got to remember anything with history, bro, is all about what it's all about. You know, you uh, guys. If you don't a, know Global Voodoo, check him out. You guys. That's Mike, and he's got a great channel. He is the mentor for Kelly Reseller Luis, and he's. Uh, he knows all about vintage. Oh, that is a nice Harley, Harley bro. Yeah. Yeah, got, oh, you got uh, a button. See, that's another thing I forgot to tell you. The button ups are also yeah. sought after too. Those it's are your, like older gentlemen Harleys because they're like the more serious guys. They're not trying to brag on the front, but in the back, they're going to always have that back hit. See, that's a. You notice what it is? It's a destination shirt. Those are oh, destinations. Yeah. Radcliffe, Kentucky. Yep. Yeah. Mostly, like I'm not, and it's not, it's not to be to be offensive or anything, but in my experience, the demographic that usually collect, I call them destination shirts. Uh -huh. Destination shirts usually are older guys that do bike runs with like their roadhog friends or, but you know, and then like they're with their their girlfriend or wife, and they'll go do these destinations, and it's basically it's um, it's sort of like a you know a souvenir. All right. Next, we got Froggy Saloon. Yeah, I know about that place. That's got crazy. A frog on it. <laughs> Is that a print? Yeah. yeah, and then the back. That one's unique. You know why that's unique? It's because it's got a a, a print on top of the pocket and on the pocket. So yeah, that is some crazy colors too. Yeah, yeah. The, both front and back. Yeah, that's a special. Look at look what look at that. That's an old '70s joke about eating the frog legs. Oh, oh, that's what it was. Okay. Yeah, you know about yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's yeah, yeah. that's why it says eat more chicken, right? Then that's I had hilarious. another frog, but I don't know where it went. Let's see. You guys check out what Luis just posted. Go check out Global Voodoo's so website. Voodoo He's got Hill? some great content. Is it, is another? Yeah. He had like like ten of these Buddha ones. I think that's but, in Virginia. I may be wrong, but I don't know. But where does it say it's from? On this one. That's pretty nice. It's basic, but I like the what I like about the personally. I like it a lot because it's I like the round and it's got it's using text to frame it. It's like a frame. Yeah. But this one's they, cool because they, they, they Daytona Beach, Florida. Eagle. Yeah. Oh, it's in Florida. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, Unless they get multiple. Date. I saw two thousand and two. Pretty nice one, bro. Dude, you got a bunch like in within a couple of years. Some of those others are vintage, bro. Okay. I would sell them all. This one I just thought it was. Funny says I pick it up. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, you, you, it almost reminds me of that guy from. Remember that cartoon on ABC that would talk about the, yeah, that conjunction junction with your function or. Oh, oh the yeah the. What does it say at the bottom? Marshmallows what? Oh, marshmallow it's products. Las Vegas, Nevada. Any back hit? No back hit. Can I tell you what's a big fad right now? People will take the. I bet you it's single stitch, right? No. Not necessarily. Yes. Yes. Okay. So the only reason I say that is because that was a trend. And what's the tag on it? You ever see Lee tags? It has a marshmallow. Yeah, that's just a basic. Yeah, that's just and, yeah, uh, made in China or whatever. No, made in USA. Well, I mean, the tag is like, you know, like, you know. Yeah, well, that's a, so that's a Hanes beefy tag. That's what I was talking about. That's a beefy okay. tag. Okay. That other one was just a logo tag. So what people are doing is if it's a really boring single stitch from the, like, era, that's a 90s one. That be, that Haynes beefy tag is probably mid ninety, early to mid nineties. Yeah. Another froggies one. Oh cool. So, uh, you know what? But there, dude, there are people that want those destinations. Some of those places close for good. Yeah. You know that, right? Back of dough in this one. I would sell though if you're going to sell those two, I'd sell them as a duo and then raise your price. So you're oh, you're saving good, on shipping. Good idea. Yeah. A lot, and plus you get rid of them quicker. And yeah, that's a oh my god, I love that one. <laughs> I wonder why you love it, Louie. One eight hundred. Why do you love it? Louis? <laughs> all right, 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 all right. Paul's done. We're taking him down, exiting solo layout. No more. That's it. Good night, everybody. No, we're going on an hour and a half. But let me just say real quick, for we're missing anybody. So, but like Louis said, check out uh, Global Voodoo, and he says I'm always buying vintage tea. So if anybody's looking to sell, just message me, <clears throat> Paul. <laughs> I'm looking to sell, man. I got like 50 more to show. <laughs> no, but I'm like once you get your your ducks in a row, yeah, you want to you want to reach out to this guy if you're gonna put it before you list them. So you may, you may save on you may save on eBay fees or whatever. Just oh yeah, you do no, your math. 
Shoot him a price, and he'll tell yeah, you. Whether I'd he rather to some somebody that I know, you know that knows going to like enjoy him and stuff, and then All right. like, like that. All right. All right. All so right. we got froggies are good. Gravity Goods goes. That's so great. He's saying it like this. <laughs> that's so great. Oh, I got I got that one for you, Cameron. Just because you said it. Here, uh, this is just the front hit, though. There's no back hit. Just, oh, this one. This one. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get banned. Is that the Last one that time. says poker in the front and and something liquor in the rear? It says liquor in the front, poker in the rear. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Oh god, <laughs> that's such a bad saying. Is that single stitch? No. Hollywood no. resellers. Says, wow, no, time no. flew. Because I mentioned we've been on an hour and a half. Okay, real quick, I'm gonna just show a few and just talk about the shirts in general. Hold on, yeah. bro. Okay. So real quick, I wanted to show you something that not single. Okay, if everything I got in the back, you guys. Uh, Mike, if you're still listening, I'm going to take these down up here. I got this one over here the other day. This says repeat, repeat. This is from 1998. This is when they won their six. Guess what it is? Bulls, their six win from the NBA Finals. Oh. Crazy, bro. I just found this the other day, and I mean, woo. The funny thing is when I found this, there was two other shirt rats. And it happened to find the same one, bro. Let me come in as close as I can. Damn, the lighting sucks on this. But I looked at the provenances at the bottom of that. Ooh, right there. That's cool. Dude, it's and so sick. finals. Yeah, that's a that's a sick one. Look and at that. that clean, Chicago. That, that's Dude, pretty impressive. So, yeah. so clean. Look at this. Look what it's on. A starter. Yeah. Dude, extra large. This is like mine. So uh, this is staying in my collection right now. Like killer. And it's got it on the side. So this is a really good mm. shirt. It's, and this is, I would say, this is an extra large that's been stretched, which I love. I love that stuff. Oh, that's, I got, a, that's a cool one. This is another one I found maybe about a year ago. This is a reference to Michael Jordan. If you guys don't know. 70 something. Yeah. That's his, remember his scores? You know, that was a yep. really, really cool. And this one's really nice. Look for this tag if you guys ever find it. All Sport Pro League. Man, yeah, they, they made. This is kind of like it's it's official, but you know, it's got that little red bull. But look at this one. And I, by the way, I just ordered another one. I got for a steal for forty five bucks because online. And uh, uh, if you go to these t shirt rats, you can they do online auctions all the time. But check this out. Oh snap! Look at this tag, bro. This is a vintage tag if you ever seen one. Not many. USA, <laughs> USA. Yeah. These are all single stitch, by the way. Except for maybe that 70-something. I think that's single stitch too, but that right there is single stitch. But check this out. You ready? You watching? Yeah. Look at this back hit. It's crazy. Oh, oh that is pretty cool. You know, this is like a probably an early yeah. 90s. I'm not sure, but I want to say this one's more early because the bull back then was crazy. I have it at the bottom. Yeah, 95. This is about 95. So it's not the others were like 98 when they were winning. This is probably yeah. after the third when when did they they did the third win in '94, I think it was. Yeah, crazy. And and then Michael went to play uh, baseball. <laughs> Dude, it's cray cray. So, and then my one of my it's not my only one. I've had older ones, but this is my recent one I found. Look at this one, bro. I paid up for this, but '99. Okay. And what's nice about this? This is a collaboration. Black Hills. Black mm -hmm. Hills is where they do the. Sturgis, so it's Sturgis, and it's this. Sturgis usually makes its own shirts. Did you know that? No. It's, do you know no. what Sturgis is? Sturgis is a run that goes from north to south, all the way up to the Black Hills and the Dakotas. But this is this is classic. You want you want to find these eagles as much as you can on the Harley Davidson. Killer dude, just this is just, and it's got such a nice thing. It's got the you know good size tag. It's Harley Davidson. This is just nice, not too boxy. But now I'm going to do this and then I'll, I'll let you go, bro. But I want to show you. This is not repop, but it's called relicensing and just like, so it's retro. I like retro stuff. Remember oh. Black Crazy shirt. Black so. <laughs> it's just like, I love, see, like if you're just strictly into movies and stuff like that, like I love this generation, like, you know. It's just like uh, crazy. Louis, the chat is asking to show the difference between single and double stitch. What is the difference they're asking? Yeah. Yes. So let me show you an example. Where did this one go? I just had one up here a little while ago. 
So here's an example of a double stitch. And this is probably going to be easier to see. See those two stitches? Yeah. Yeah. That is called a double stitch. If you got an old vintage one, like this is from 1987, 88. This is like when you're, you know, Mike won't know this because he was too young, but look at that. That is a seal. How many stitches do you see on that? Yeah, one. one. It's a single. It's a single. But that was standard because back in the day, like, that's all you need to hold inside of this, you know, thing. But like, this is from the inside and it barely held it, dude. These things would wear out in the wash and stuff. So, but it was happened to be that's all they did from the 70s and 80s. So, you know, you got a nice little old shirt like this with the colors and stuff, and it's still good, and they hardly wore it. People look for this stuff for movie productions. People collect this stuff. You got the hipsters yeah. that love yeah. this stuff. I mean, there's different reasons people collect vintage. Now, the older it is, the more likely the value will increase. The better condition it is, it's going to increase even more. The better the graphics, the label. And remember what we were talking about? Branding, you you can get hundreds of dollars. It just yeah. depends on popularity, yeah. demand, a lot of things. It's like anything you buy. You know what I'm saying? So and one last thing I'm going to show you. Now, looking for shirts, don't just look for brands and stuff like that. Look for rare, unique things. This is a production of a play. I found this at that Uptown Cheapskates, and I was like, what is this? I don't remember this movie. And as I come in, I was like, that looks like Scarlett Johansson. Well, and that looks like the guy from X-Men, you know, Leif Schreiber. Look uh -huh. at this. Arthur uh -huh. Miller's A View from a Bridge. This was a production from a Broadway play, bro. Look at this. Wow. Isn't that weird? Wow. Yeah. So just yeah. weird, rare shirts like that, grab them because you'll never see it. People want, they like Scarlett Johansson. They like Leif Schreiber from X-Men, you know. Crazy, crazy stuff oh, like that. Cool. You got to yeah, think cool. out of the box when you collect. Don't just be, oh, it's not all. It's not vintage, you know, and stuff like that. You're like, yeah, well, you know. Oh, what about? Oh, oh shit! I almost pulled myself out of the out of the thing completely. But dude, what else? Do you got a couple more to show? Yeah. So this is a. So it's okay. No, yard. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Look at that. That's. Like, Color. So that's probably like uh, late 90s, early 2000s. They started doing yeah, that neon. It's a, it's a single stitch. That's probably late 90s. Then. Yeah, especially when you got that. That Remember that in the late 90s, they were everything was going to go in neon green, neon orange, yeah. neon yellow, yeah. and blue. That's very neon. Oh, that's not. It's Daytona, bro. That's beautiful. Apparently, yeah. apparently it was like, like a restaurant at, uh, they, at uh, Daytona 500 or something. But, it doesn't matter because you can mention that Daytona. You, you find the style of those two cars, what kind of cars they are. You might put that all in the in the header. You're going to pull people in. Whoa, that's nice. See, another print on top of a pat, I mean, a, a pocket. That's that's yeah. beautiful. That little yeah. stallion. That's awesome. Oh, wow, dude. You 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 killed it. I know what you went after. You went after all the women's shirts, dude. <laughs> but there is a history there, like from World War II. Remember when they would paint these women on the, on the planes yep. and stuff? Oh, no. Yep, like on the... Bombers, yeah. Yeah. iron horse, man. Well, that says, what a destination! Drop a, drop a bombshell <laughs> like that. Crazy. All right, we got. Yeah. Uh, Did you read what Mike wrote Harvey? real quick? Time out, real quick. Hold it up. But time out. Read this. You can still show this, but I wanted to mention something. Mike mentioned something. It's a really good thing. There, I've been watching the T-shirt rats, and they've been talking about like. Oh, did you hear, like, this hip-hop artist, he dropped $500 on this shirt. It was, like, just some random shirt nobody ever wore, but it was, like, a full-body print of, like, an animal print or something like that. Wow. And now everybody's wow. looking for that shirt, and guess what? When they find that shirt, they sell it for that price. You know what I mean? Like, okay. what he paid. And so the market value just kind of subjects itself. So he says, subject matter sales. I have sold some crazy shirts over the years, David Grohl, oh my God, and Miley Cyrus, to Brad Pitt, Moneyball. That's just that's crazy. Look at this. Sometimes paper thin shirts sell as well. Yeah, especially if they're old, bro. So these are just details to think about. What they're talking about is what I'm trying to, you know, share with you, Paul, and anybody oh, yeah, sure. watching this. You know, it's just stuff you got. It's not just because it's single stitch, bro. Go ahead. I'm sorry. There's another Harley. So that's Survivor, got a grizzly bear. That's yeah, nice, the grizzly bear right there. 
That's simple, but it's tough, bro. Like, that's just the badass. Oh, look at that. Tag. And then the back. Just, just do me a favor. Yeah. Get out. Get out. That's a nice one. That was very. I remember when that style started coming out. Like, it was trying to be 3D, but it was like mentioning the destination. It was yeah. like, you know, you got your destination, but you got like still this like. There's always a reference to the road or 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 outside because bikers are always doing what you know. So, so this one is different. It's very simple, but I think it's still good. Jersey stag. Oh, dude, dude. NYPD. That's uh, that's a '90s, yeah, New York PD one. That, that's all. Jersey it says, yeah. NYPD. Yeah. It's single stitch, right? Yep. It actually could be late '80s, but it's probably early '90s. Jersey tag, do you like that? Yeah. Do me a favor, start taking pictures. Do you have a little? Can you do this in your on your computer before you let any of those go, especially the old ones? Start taking pictures if you're not familiar, bro. Uh huh. Yeah, just take a little file of all those tags, and then make files within your files of the name of the tag, like jerseys, tall text, uh, yeah. uh, Haynes. Yeah. Just and when. You start noticing differences. Go back. Is that the same tag? No. Take a picture again, and, yeah. and save it yeah. as a file because you're gonna you're gonna learn so much about this. Be a historian. You know, keep provenance. Oh, Dirty Harry's, Harry's ninety nine. So vintage, right? <laughs> yeah. You know what makes it that nineties is that tan. Tan was yeah. such a big thing in the nineties too. Yeah. There's the back hit. But look at that yellow pops, bro, with the blue. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. The orange, boom. Another bike shirt. Sure. That's the a tag nice one. is softy. Yeah. Uh, pair, of, pair, pair, of, pair of blue jeans. You got your biker boots, dude. You ready to go and roll? Uh, yeah. Uh, did you hear what what Global Voodoo says? They were. Well, whether they were Mike, I'm not going to debate you, but I, I agree with you. They were using it up to. I don't know that they were necessarily making it. I think they were some. What I heard was they had such big back stock of that shirt that they were used all the way up to 2003 because the late 90s they had so much product that they were still printing up to 2003. But yeah, they were definitely using those tags all the way up. So, so regular NASCAR, 2007, but still pretty cool. Now that is a fire one. You know what? That's not as big as I've seen, but that's still a that's a that's a giant shirt. That's now, Lou, I need to get that, this one. You, okay. So you know what's nice about that last one. shirt? It's got that nice maroon. Ooh, coming close to the camera on that, bro. So it says volunteer knit apparel. All right. Yeah. Looks like it has is the, it USA? the tag on it. Yeah. So it says Polish motorcycle Kawasaki. Kawasaki. That's but the okay. You know, glasses you, on it are like pinned. See that? So yeah. that is what I call uh, a European tour shirt, but I think it is made over Europe, but I may be wrong, but it's yeah, it, or it's, it's, manu it's, it's manufactured or? it's manufactured overseas, regardless of where it's made. But what I'm trying to say is this is what I call this is kind of a racial slur kind of it's it's a shirt, you know, like the you know the you know the debate between Having a Harley Davidson made in USA tape a motorcycle versus what they call, pardon the expression, you guys, but they call it a rice burner for like Kawasaki and stuff like that. You know what I'm talking about? No. No. So basically, but Harley guys, says they hated, they hated on, Kawasaki, yeah. they hated Yamaha. No, no, I get it, but like it says, it does say USA. Yeah, but it is a Polish motor company, though. So it's it's a Dude, Polish shirt. So it's, it's, it's basically. It's basically to me. This is a racial slur because you know they always they, they make fun of Polish people as being dumb or slow. Oh, so, oh, so this is like a Polish motorcycle. Okay, I get it now. It's a, it's a it's joke. It's a joke. So, like, like a Kawasaki. It's a Kawasaki. Oh, okay. Kawasaki. I get it. I get it. <laughs> Everybody that's that's watching Ukrainians, Polish, you know, kind of on this. No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> Another yeah. Harley. But that's but you know why he got it because the guy had all those biker shirts. It, it was a joke for him to have that. Uh, put me that's on full grain to get, get Cali out of here, man. Come on, why is, why is Cali on full grain? Just for that, <laughs> just yeah, for but, that, Luis, yeah. it's your turn. There's for Luis. You're just gonna. <laughs> I just cut his ass off. He's been going on for half an hour. I've been listening to him. Oh, man, He's me. Mike in the chat is Mike Kawabunga. Dude, look, look what Mike wrote. He's like, oh, enough of that guy. Kawabunga. I can see. I'm on the door. Hey, I'm Polish. 
Oh, that's nice, bro. You know what's different about that? I haven't seen that one because most of the time it's always Jim Morrison by himself or, you know. And I've seen that. I've seen variations of it, but this is nice because it's what they call um, black and white silhouette kind of thing, you know. Yep. It's on a. It's like, hey! It's on a Bay Island tag. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good one. That that one makes a lot of tourist t-shirts too. Yep. But they all like that's a rare one that you found on that tag. So that's an older that's an older door shirt. That's probably like two thousand three or something. Does it have a date on it? Uh, let me see real quick. Let me check. If not, don't worry. About it. it could be. Yeah, I don't think it's, it's like nineties. Yeah. If it's late nineties, you got a good one. No, it doesn't have a date on it. It's probably early two thousands or mid two thousands. Maybe. Well, there's a tag on. Yeah, this he is the one I was talking about. Love to see the union tags on vintage. He loves it. Yeah, look at this one, Louis. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, oh, there you go, bro. That's kill. You know who's gonna want that, right? Mm. Yep. That's yep. crazy, dude. That's like, oh my god. That's like, that's like <laughs> prison Popeye. That's prison yep. Popeye. Yep. It's official Popeye merchandise. Global Voodoo says, This is the end, my only friend. <laughs> this is the end, my friend. Yep, just like the song says. He said they sold those TVs at the point dollar bill. Oh, awesome. I mean, you, you've all seen the Sons of Anarchy, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yep. it is. Yeah. Sons of Santa. <laughs> Christmas one too, and I love it. It's like North Pole, dude. You better save that for Christmas because I'm telling you, when I start listing it around October, you're gonna sell that for big money, bro. That's the bag. Let me show you the front real quick. That I would have picked up if I found it. Oh, I love that, dude. Whoa. Take that with the cookies on it. That's, that's cool. crazy. What's that's that say? Merry Xmas. Oh my God, that's freaking hilarious. Oh, it has all the stuff on the sleeves too. That is crazy. R1J1's like, sweet. Yep. Maria goes, I love it. I love that. that All right, I'll show one more. Then I'll let Paul go again. Oh, nope. Not oh, his it's turn. It's that's mine. Marvel? Oh, that Hulk looks oh, sick. It's old school Hulk. That's 90s Hulk. Yeah. That's when he was turning from green to gray. And it's an that artist shirt, bro. Fire. fire. Yep. Yep. This is a dope shirt. I like it. Yeah, too bad it's not my size. Dude, that's it's a like killer hard. shirt, bro. Yeah, dude. That's sick. All right. 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 All Oh, God, it's probably about 2012, 2013 when this show started. After that, yep. the, the licensing and merchandising, the, 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 the one kid that used to always wear the one son in that TV show that wore the American cap or the American bandana, yep. he got in a fight with his family because he, he put so much merchandise at Walmart. They got a licensing uh, dispute with Walmart and the family, yeah. and they were just, like, fighting big, big time. Look, Paul fell asleep. Uh, I, I have offers on t-shirts I'm replying nope. to. Nope. <laughs> I, I already have people sending me offers on the tees I'm showing. Go back to your oh, thing. I'm going gonna, gonna to go ahead and uh, – oh, shoot. How did I get up here? There it is. What happened? Oh, we got to do that layout like this. There you, go. there you go. Yeah, Paul is multitasking. He's showing shirts, but he's also trying to sell at the same time. So He's he's yeah. make, he's make finding, sourcing, and guess what? I, I, I got people, people already – people interested, man. <laughs> Dude, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta multitask. You, you can't just do lies without selling stuff. And uh, anybody interested in this, you guys know how to reach us. You know, let us know. You see something? Okay, on the back wall, I showed my three um, Louis a little while ago. I mean, you may, have, yeah, you just got back when I started doing that. Mm -hmm. But um, remember that, remember that, the the T-shirt uh, that I showed you was called Mugboy. Look at this one. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, oh that was an awesome. Shirt. Oh. Oh. I like that. I just saw like this one and another one to a guy that I met just talking to him here. He was an awesome. He's an artist, musician. That is awesome. But, 
Look at that. Hardcore will never die. You gotta listen to this group, bro. Dude, Luis, you would love them. They're like they got this sweet kind of like sensibility of tool and metallica blended in. They're yeah, really yeah, good. Yeah. Dude, they're called M O G W A I. This you can't read, but the other one you can that's crazy. Look at the graphics on that. And there's only probably about five to ten of these I found of this design. Awesome. The rest were that the other design. And then I got one with a skull on it. It's sick. It's crazy with red eyes. Let me show you something. So this is not, I'm pretty sure it's not. Let me look and double check. This is like Paul was asking me, how can you tell if it's old? Like this is made to look old, but then again, when Eddie this is a uh, Iron Maiden, if anybody doesn't know, uh Eddie Mummy, they call him, has been on like their album nope. covers probably since the eighties and stuff. But this is not a single stitch, and it doesn't have to be on an Iron Maiden because they were making these type of shirts all the way into the 2000s. So yep. this may be a recall, repop, but if it yeah. was, it's a good one because look, it's on a Delta tag. So I'm convinced oh. that this is, if it was a repop, it was an early licensing, and these can be worth money still. And this, I looked up this, this is a hard to find image of Eddie Mummy because mm -hmm. he's in a plane that is only found in Texas, this jet plane. That means that this concert was probably in Texas somewhere like San Antonio or something like that. Yeah. So the artist, and I know this artist because I've been on his website and I sold one of his shirts of just Eddie Mummy drawings, not Iron Maiden, but of his drawings. And I sold that shirt for like 60 bucks, bro. It was crazy, crazy. So I will say be on the lookout for rarities. Okay, I already showed you this one. Uh, um, I want to show you some stuff that's not really like popular worth a lot, but but look for rare shirts. People like weird stuff. Like if you're going to go selling at flea markets or something like that. Well, look at cool. this. All this right. is an all over print. Check this out. All over, right? But look when I get close. Look at the designs in this, you guys. Mm -hmm. Ooh. No, oh, that's awesome. I like crazy. all that. There's like empires and shit like that in here. It's crazy. It's just like. They're just weird stuff. I don't know what's what's the going tag on. on it. And that's a thing. It's something I've never heard of, but I found this. Look at this. It's one of those like rare. You don't know what it is, but you know it's a it's a newer one because these tags that are skinny like yeah. that didn't come out to about the two thousand. So it could have just been washed out. The tag probably washed out, but I don't know. I mean, it could be like something made for one of those mall t shirt companies. You know. Like Eagle yeah. Thrifters or whatever the hell it's called. But this was sick, and you have to get something like that. Look at that. Wow, that's dope. Uh, All right, we're starting to bid at $5, man. <laughs> not not going to happen. Not going to happen. Oh, these so, uh, they sold those tees at Hot Top. Yeah, exactly. It's so like Hot yeah, Topic or something like that. Yep. What did he say here? Yep. People toss some killer vintage tees to auction yeah, on yeah, eBay, yeah. and they go for cheap. Yep. That's how I find them, uh, Mikey. I go on and I and I'm hunting them all the time. Yep. Oh, thank you, Nikki. You're so sweet. Check this out. So I found this. This is a muscle tee. Look at this. It's a short tank top. It, it's a right. Schwarzenegger. <laughs> vintage, right totally vintage, dude. Right. You know why yeah, I know it's vintage? Yeah. It's, from, it's from the '80s. Check that tag out. All right, guys. Right. Starting to get five bucks. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> but this will sell right there. You know, these are things that you just gotta go look for. You grab them. You don't have to just grab, you know. Look at this. I love what I said there. Look at this one. I love this one here. Oh yeah, mi familia. Look at that car. It's so sick. Yep. That's that's nice. It's like a it's like El Camino or something like that, and it's like yeah. got the beautiful lowrider. Have a good night, Mike. Have a good one, Mike. Thank, good you, one, Mike. Thank you for stopping in, bro. Oh, I'm I totally missing the other comments. Mike, I appreciate you, bro. You guys check out Mike. Check him out. Let me just show you one more. Let me see if I got something to show. Uh, show thou. Oh, this one I found. I thought, oh, I'm oh, excited. It's like oh. dead stock, right? Look at this, you guys. Mayonnaise. <laughs> Use Redneck Express four. Wonder. Redneck 4. 
Mayonnaise. Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. Oh, that's funny. You know, right? Jeff Foxworthy, right? Yep. And it's it's like it's oh, like one of those Harley tees. It's got this in the front. I look at this. I look it up, and I'm like, when is this from? 2002. I thought it was late 90s, but I guess he did come out oh. first. But I looked these up, and they're, you know, oh, but it's in oh, great man. condition. This is like yep. stuff that big, 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 big fun times, bro. We yep. got like 60 yep. people in chat. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. We're just, you know, we just want to talk about the love of reselling, but also yep. just the love of like just a passion for certain subject matter, like shirts and stuff. You know, yep. it's crazy. What do you got, Paul? Let me put you back is, up, bro. Is, uh, Cameron's still here? Uh, let me let me let me tag him and see if he's still here. Uh, yeah, he's still, okay, you see, I can still tag him. So see, the next Disney thing I have is a hat. It's all about hats. Who's, somebody's breaking up a little bit. Their speaker's a little scratchy. Is it me? Hopefully not me. So, mm -hmm. so this is vintage, right? Oh, my battery's going yep. low, yo. Yep. Disney character for you. That is sweet. That is super That's vintage. That's like 80s vintage. Show that again. Oh, yeah. That has that all over print. That actually, cool. Yeah, that might be early 90s. That, that that's that, like, you know why? Because the, the, like, the style the of that. Stretch to it in the back. Oh, and it's still good. Don't stretch it too much. Yeah. But, yeah, that looks like early 90s. Uh, yeah, quick crap that they would sell at, like, the theme park of, of, yeah, of Walt Disney. World. But those things. Disney on it. Atlas, adults. I don't see a year. Yeah, uh, no, I guarantee that's you know what that style, that style, Paul, is so yeah. '90s because a lot of uh, like skaters and and uh, the hipsters like to wear that with like crazy clothes and stuff. They like yeah. bike bicyclers wear those hats. Another Daytona. Okay. Four hundred. Little straight lacy for me. That looks like two thousands. Yeah, but yeah, that's good. Because it's look how neat the graphics is. But you know what? That's gonna sell, bro. Anything Daytona. So it's it's colors. Okay. No, no, I don't know if it's special or not, but Miller tag. No it looks like hit. a single stitch. It looks like a single stitch. It is a single stitch. Yeah, that's that's about mid nineties. Yep. It's a fun one. Uh, it's just a simple Harley, but still good, I would guess, right? That's all it says. It's Harley oh, Davidson, cool. Las Vegas Cafe. Yeah, yeah. Then tag. No back hit, unfortunately. But yeah, Harley that's back in the, like the late '90s, early 2000s, yeah. when like you know you go to you go on a tourist thing, you don't want to buy something too loud like that. They call it, that's not even loud. That's just, to me that yeah. that was simplifying Harley Davidson. The other one was like a little too corporate for me. What oh you God. got there? Come in a little closer. That's San not Antonio. A no, it's a uh, looks like Smithfield, North Carolina. Okay, yeah, that's their typical storefronts. Yeah. yeah. You got the state shape at the bottom. Those are cool. Yeah, what I would do is if you got anything that's kind of simple like that, but but nice with with a destination, lot them up and sell them high. You know, Branson, USA, Country Music Show Capital. Cool. Uh, some, yeah, that'll uh, go for a different. Is that a Harley or is that? No, a, it's just like, a, just a country shirt. That's cool because like that's got music references. You got yeah. the city reference. It's a desti That's a destination shirt too. Get a grip. Get a grip. That's awesome. It's, the, it's like the eagle claws. You see that? Gripping yeah, but that's there. 3D. That's a, I would call that a 3D shirt. Yeah. Definitely a 3D shirt, bro. Because it, yeah, it's got the eagle claws. That's sweet. XL too. Man, yeah. dude, you got good ones. Are they all XL? Uh, XL or 2XL. Hold it there for a second. I want to study that. A look at the... Oh, it took me a while. The mountain is an eagle with those yeah. yep. piercing eyes, dude. That is a that's a sick graphic. That is that's a what I call a deceptive graphic. It looks simple, but it's not. Yeah. So I would price high on this one. Okay. If they don't get it, they don't they don't get it. You get my point? You got two left. So almost almost over, guys. <laughs> Another Boot Hill one. Oh, cool. And uh, two thousand two. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's mean. Yeah. Okay. And it's that it's that. What's that one say? Oh, yeah. Boot Hill Saloons is Daytona Beach, Florida. Bike Week 22. Yeah, that's, of the that's sweet. 2002, yeah. Uh, I, I like, the, like, the, like the blue in the back. I don't know if you can see that. Like, like, like the palm trees. Kind of like spooky. I'm yeah. not sure. If, I don't think it's, it's glow in the dark, but it's pretty cool. Marrakesh, and... Sadiq. Um, my, I found 
a vintage shirt that was probably I should have never sold. It was either late eighties or early nineties, and somebody ripped the, sh the sleeves off. But it was a very, very, very rare punk band that they were from Britain, and I ended up selling it for uh, close to a hundred dollars. And this guy at a flea market bought it for me. He was a bartender from around the corner, and he knew and he knew the band. Um, uh, yeah. Holly is yeah. asking, you plug a lot. Yeah, I went to a yard sale this morning, Holly, and I bought 38 shirts plus this hat. And I spent 50 bucks total. And he um, woke me up at like eight in the morning, <laughs> my time. And Louis, you're not answering your phone. <laughs> and then this is the last one. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. I like that. That is, I, you know what's great about that, Paul? Is this the, the Funkadelic colors? It's so oh, 80s. Yep. 90s kind of just americana cheesy yeah. graphics but it's yeah. great dude because look at that look at the look at the font on the writing is yeah toltecs is that no what was that tag uh screen star best oh, mm -hmm. oh yeah that's, that's definitely single stitch i bet yep does it have any dates on there oh the music jubilee yeah music jubilee it's old people music love it do not see a uh, date. Nikki Single says pitch. noise. Noise, Philly. Noise. Oh, I had one more, but I don't. I don't think this one's worth anything. But I just threw it in. <laughs> it's like a button down. It's kind of like, so like uh, Hawaiian shirt. Basically, you got four shirts for five bucks, right? Um, I, I spent like a dollar twenty-eight a shirt. Uh, That's what I'm much. saying. So like four for five bucks, yeah. rounded. It's not bad, dude. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I'll just throw a sense because they look cool, but I don't think it's worth it. No, anything. sometimes I, I'll be honest. I bought one the other day and Saturday. it was like, it was a, I may have actually put it back, but it had like all these like, look, uh, old 1940s or 50s cars on it. Like, kind of like that. It was like, just, those are fun. Some There's always somebody who wants one of those. And I call that, that's the guy that ends up doing the barbecue. Like, who wears the Hawaiian shirt? You just go, okay, you're in charge. You're wearing the ugly shirt. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You, you know, one grilling. <laughs> you're the one grilling Luis right. yep. that ugly shirt you're gonna go cook some hot dogs nope. <laughs> this is the other one I was telling you about oh yeah, yeah. that's nice Dia de los Muertos. okay I like I like those you know um, this is the back hit of it sometimes people collect oh that's what kills it right there bro they're like and they're almost like two Lataria cards but they're not they're yeah, like they're not. Got all the, the dates on it I love that lady though. Look at her with the roses in her hair. Come in closer, bro. I want to see that sexy dead lady. Go up a little bit. Yeah, that's like, man, that's so modern. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's nice I guy. love the yeah, dude. You know, I know you know what I'm talking about. You know the stuff from the '70s, the yeah. old like the old school Dia de los Muertos, like not yeah. the modern day versions. That stuff is just sick to look at. I yeah, love yeah, I picked this, pick this one up too. We don't see I those think, up here, Louis. I think Vince is just something. Oh, oh Vegas, you found cool. him. World Tour 2014, yeah. Lu Paul, Luis and I were talking about like He went to go see him. What was his oh, really? nickname? Puffy? Yeah. yeah, Puffy. Yeah. Did I tell you? I found a DVD after that day we were talking. I went to the bins and I was like, oh, oh I should really? get this Puffy for you. Yeah. I'm yeah, glad you got it. that. That was a good one. You got anything else? You're good. That's it. Those are my last two. Yep. Yeah. What? You're out of here. That's it. <laughs> All right. That, I think we're pretty good. Let, I'm going to end it here in a little bit, you guys. I mean, you guys could. We should yeah. do this again and talk about shirts, especially if you guys find stuff like that. But I'd yeah. like to continue the dialogue, Paul. And Luis, you're, you know, you know, you're my bro. You're always welcome. But I want to yeah. talk more like about just shirts in general. We can yeah. still continue the conversation. Like, so roughly, if anybody wants to know about vintage stuff, it's just fun. But it's also yeah. just like, just because you have vintage doesn't mean it's worth a lot. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. let me see if I got what one I like more. on the comments, Louis. People were saying like, "Thanks, I'm learning so much. Thanks, this is good information." So, yeah. hey, a, lot guys. People, a lot of people were like learning while you were talking. It. So that's good. That's good. Yeah. I mean, this is that's what this is for. So everyone exactly. educates themselves a little more with about these shirts and. So you, know, when you find them. these. These are mostly '80s, and sometimes they yeah, kind of yeah. try to bleed in the night. I'm pretty sure most of these are the the '80s because look, look at the. Dallas doesn't spell their name out like that. Little fancy letter. Well, Isn't that beautiful. Yeah. Just well, nice. This is on a sweatshirt. So this is like a nice old vintage. When I found this, I was like, ah, this guy was like chasing me to buy it. And I'm like, no. And it's super, super clean. It just says National 
football league. Football league at the bottom. Can you see that? Oh, yeah. we're not close enough. But but Dallas doesn't do that anymore. You know. Yeah. But also the coloration. It just I got so many of these. That's like, one vintage. Dallas used to win. That's what that one. That's what that one. Yep. And that exactly. was yeah. That was the. And you know, <laughs> yeah, look how not loud it is. Now they're not even winning, and the the t-shirts are yeah. bling, and they're like you know yeah. crazy. And to me. It almost so, takes it away. I, I from got you. one more thing to show Luis over here. I'll be right back though. It's, it's in my inventory. Yeah, I'll yeah, yeah. Really quick. But I want to show something real quick. Oh, he's yeah, going to go ahead. No, he'll be right back. I'm showing this to the chat. Anybody like hip hop artists? DJ Screw in there. Got this stuff. This is crazy. That's a Texas hip hop artist and stuff. That's, These are all the legends from yeah, Texas. Who's on, who's on that? That's uh, Big Moles on there. And mm -hmm. let me go back up a little. Can you see? Yeah, I can see it. Is that uh is that big black on the wearing a hat from Robin Big? I think it might be. I can't tell right now. I know he I know he passed away. You're talking him. about him? Or no, this no, 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 one no, that one right there. No. Yeah. I think it is. Does he usually wear like a star with a, it was H on it? Yeah. That's well huge. he was from Texas. I know he's buried in Texas too, so yeah. This is DJ Screw right here, right? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Uh, he passed away. He's the one that made that, you know. That yeah, kind of they made that music with the like slow rhythm and stuff. He killed that stuff. Here's a vintage I want to show. I should wait till Paul gets back. This is actually an original 1980s. Oh, Errol Smith. Yep. Errol Smith. And I actually had one, but I gave the one I had. It was like a baseball one. Like the shirt was white on the ends. Yeah. And it was black here. And I, I get, gave it to my nephew, and I don't know. I never saw it again. But I wish I just but, tossed it out. No, he, he was pretty good about collecting them. But look oh, at this. Cool. I, that was their pump album. Do you remember he, this? He, 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 you ready for this, Callie? Yeah, yeah. Hold on one second. Pump. Hold on one second, Paul. Do you remember ah, this? This guy with his pump t shirts. No, <laughs> you know what this is? Aerosmith, bro. Is that when they were good? This is when they were good, dude. Look at this tag. <laughs> Crazy old. This is the 1980s, bro. This is before the Armageddon soundtrack, dude. I saw him in the late <laughs> know, 80s, bro. Right? <laughs> That's yeah. It was all pre that crap. This was. <laughs> look at this is. Look at this. I could stay yeah, away. Look at this. Look just at this. to hear you. Oh God! Don't even remind me, bro. That made me sick. Look at that. Yeah, Can you see that uh, rip? Can you see that yeah, rip? Yeah, that's cool. Is, is, is that year, just like is that aging or is that how it's does the design? No, it, no. This some. some my sister messed it up, and she put like a little pin from underneath. Uh, uh, it's from the, this one's from '89. The year I went to go see him was like '87, '88. When I got out of high school, I won free tickets, and we went to Louisiana. Hmm. Oh, this thing's got oh. holes in it. And oh. Stuff. You see that's, that that's pin? That's good, though, right? That, that just adds character. Oh, they, people don't care, but my sister, yeah. I don't know where she got this. If she went like to go see him, then she didn't tell me about this. But that's crazy. Yeah. One last thing, and I'm done. Real quick. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, hey, you buddy. Hey, Har hey, I got to show all my Harleys. Hold on. I got this. this is a repop, but I actually think it might be a little old, and I wouldn't be surprised it's from when the movie came out. I don't know what that is. Was this they live? They live. Do you like? Do you like wrestling? Yeah. I'll obey. You like Roddy Rowdy Piper? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was before my time. This is a movie he made. It was called oh, They okay. Live. And basically, so it, it was a cheesy kind of B class movie. They Roddy, Rod, uh, what's his name? Roddy, uh, Roddy, 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 Roddy Piper. Yeah. Roddy Roddy Piper, yeah. Alien basically, he, he the, the the premise is he goes and he somehow finds some glasses somebody drops, and it was like a politician in D.C. and he picks them up and he puts them on, and through those glasses he can <laughs> wow. see everybody that that's an alien. <laughs> that, that was funny. I know. <laughs> They all look like that. So when he puts the glasses in, did you notice it says obey, obey, obey? Yeah. So whenever he looked at the glasses, all the billboards were like subliminal and they would go, obey, obey, obey. That's oh. where that one artist stole all this stuff. So this one actually oh. has a tag. Yeah, that's where obey took his idea from? Yeah, he stole it from this movie, dude. Oh, yeah. snap. He's not that original. But anyway. Oh, yeah. he's a kid. Hey, buddy. Hey, oh, oh, it's, oh this is for your kid, Luis. It's good Luis! Louis! Hey, right, look, look, look what you can get your kid, Louis. Look. I know. All right, Louis, make me big. Louis, make, make him big. big real quick, Louis. Make Paul big. <laughs> Hold on one second. Hold on. Wait, hold on. All right, here. Come and leave up there. You go through here. Look, look, 
Look. Oh my god, that is awesome. Whoa. What size is it, bro? It's a kid's um, large. large. Size large. It's a kid's large. Dude, do you have a Dodgers jacket, Lewis? No. Mine doesn't. I only have a shirt. It's it's a, it's a vintage shirt. We're gonna have to we're gonna, have to, we're gonna have to ask Paul how much. Yo, we're gonna have to buy that from Paul. I got this from a uh, storage unit, bro. <laughs> oh, nice. All right, you guys talk. We'll talk when we shut this down in a couple minutes. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, Louis bringing out another Dodger one too. Uh oh, uh -oh we're, about to have, we're about to have an auction off with Dodger items. <laughs> so when Louis has another baby, this is a taller. <laughs> no, that will never happen. Nope. <laughs> Look, Luis, never say never, man. I know. <laughs> Luis, I you're, not Luis you're right, dude. This is from the '90s. Look at this, dude. Oh, it's the a chalk crazy. Line too. Yeah, chalk line, bro. Look at this. Nice. You see the year? Yup, '88. That's the year the way they won the champ, the World Series. Bro, this, I found that at the bins too. So, where'd you, where'd you, you found yours in the storage, bro? Yep. Dude, that's that so awesome. I paid thirty dollars for this storage unit, and it had like 15, 15 pairs of Jordan shoes in it. Oh, no, like no! How did you plus. know? That is awesome. I just you just took it. a guess. There was just a bunch of like garbage bags full of stuff, and I was like, for thirty bucks, why not? It was worth a gamble. Yep. Yeah. Did you? What kind of shoes were they from the nineties? No, nah, they were like like from like two thousand two, two thousand ten. Oh down. my god! Did you already sell them all? I sold. Probably thirteen out of fifteen pairs. Yeah, That's and they, they all sold for about like a hundred plus. It's yep. Pretty good. Yeah. Well, it's all good. Yeah. And they're probably worth more now. I hate to say it, especially yep. if they're yeah. yeah. Woo! It's crazy. Well, yep. you guys, this was fun. Stick around. Don't don't log off yet right away. You guys in the live chat, thank you everybody. This has been a fun time. We're gonna end it. We're like a little over two hours. This has been fun. We'll do this again some other time. So Nikki and everybody that were here from the beginning and shop, yeah, shopaholic sure. and Appreciate everybody that was here, Rosilla. Yeah. Oh my God, you guys are awesome. R one J one, Sadiq and everybody. Who's this guy, yeah. Philly Flipper? I'm gonna kick his ass out. Yeah, <laughs> nice. I don't know. But you guys, like some kind of loser just wants attention. <laughs> everybody, I'll show you the rest of these next time. But I got so many more. Check this out. My last show of the night. Who is this? Who is this? That's Tupac. Two, two packs, packs of sugar. sugar. But look two at that design. Yeah, that's cool. That's Isn't that cool. crazy? On a long sleeve. This is like a an artist made one. It's not officially licensed, but how to get it. Two packs of sugar. On that note, we'll do this again. This has been T-shirt talk. Everybody have a good night. Thank you guys for joining. This is awesome. See you guys. Peace.